12 to talk some college football. Dan is off today. He has too many TV shows to do. He has chosen all those TV shows over this radio show and this TV show on ESPNU uh, because he has TV around the clock today. A couple of HQs, a PTI. He's got a lot going on, so he just left you and I to our own devices. Right. So he's got three shows today. He's got, uh, is that accurate, Mike? He has three TV shows today? Yeah, and just throughout the week, he's had so much TV. Yes. Trying to give him a little relief here. Right. And we brought in Greg Cody. Yes, we did. He's a bit overexposed. Not Greg Cody, Dan. Is that yes. fair? Yeah. Greg's probably underexposed. <laughs> Greg, well, not today. Greg will be overexposed yeah. today, yes, right? <laughs> uh, the Warriors last night ended the 23 and 0. Um, man, it's funny. We talked a little bit about this, uh, in the local hour of the show with Tim Legler. I was going to join us in a half hour, and I heard him say on SportsCenter last night that this is the best shooting team he's ever seen in the NBA. And I'm wondering, and I'll ask him, is there even a close second? Like, it is amazing what this team is doing. So they're at 23-0. You keep looking for spots, Greg. Like, you just you keep looking for spots where you say to yourself, okay, this is the night they're going to lose. And last night, I think logically for many people, that was kind of the spot. Pacers are good. Paul George is better now than he was before the injury. They're actually a pretty good defensive team. And you figured, okay, it's a long road trip. Uh, Golden State's going to slip up here. And, you know, the first time I turned my television on last night to watch the game, uh, the Warriors were up 30. The Pacers scored 60 at the half, and we're still trailing by, I think, 18 points at the half. They scored 123 and lost the game. I'd like to know how many times that has happened, where a team scores 123 and loses the game. Uh, it's incredible what we're witnessing. It's, it's got to be so discouraging to, to play them, right, to play the Warriors, because, you know, you can shoot 60% against them and be buried by threes. You know, you can score 120 points and, and not even be in the game uh, late. It's just... I, I don't see them losing 10 games. I don't know how they, they don't beat the Bulls' uh, 72 wins. How, how are they going to lose 10 games? Uh, I don't know. And, and I know everyone wants this. I know I want it. Certainly this network wants it. But they are now five wins away from, you know, playing in that Christmas Day game on ABC against the War, uh, against the Cavaliers. And who doesn't want to see that? Oh. Mike made a great point during the open of the show. He said that probably would be the highest rated regular season NBA game ever. I think he's right. If they come into that game undefeated Christmas Day, everyone's home, you have their full attention, and it's Cavs and Warriors, and the Warriors are still undefeated, and I think when they play the Cavs, they'd be trying to tie the Lakers' record for most consecutive wins. I think it would be the most, I think it would be the highest rated regular season NBA game, NBA game in league history. Yeah, I, I think it would get a, a, a finals type rating uh and, and it's a preview of, of what we expect to be the nba finals it's gonna sort of be the template for for what we see in in june between these two teams clay thompson at 10 threes last night they were up big you know the other impressive thing about this team is they're able to rest their stars in the fourth quarter because they're up so much going into the fourth quarter last night was another example of that however indiana made a run last night and clay thompson was forced to come back into the game and uh and tweak his ankle now he said he'll be fine by friday that's their next game they have three days off here uh, before they get to Boston. And by the way, if they complete this road trip undefeated, they're the only team in league history to go on a seven-game road trip and do so undefeated. Yeah, it's, it's tough. And at this point, uh, not just if you're a Warriors fan, at this point you just have to hope that they're still unbeaten on Christmas Day because that's going to be special. Can you remember, like for me, there, there haven't been many. Um, can you remember, because I'm experiencing this now with the Golden State Warriors, and certainly the streak has something to do with it, but just their style of play, meaning if, if they already had a loss or two on their schedule, I'd still be rushing home. I'd be going out of my way to watch this team play. Is there a team, can you recall teams that you're not a fan of that you went out of your way to watch? Did you do that with the Patriots when they were chasing history or they were trying to go undefeated? Not so much. Uh, Golden State is so entertaining. Uh, they're just, you know, they're, they're, they don't win efficiently. They win uh, with, with just so much flash and and, and everything you want to see on a court. They're, you know, they're not winning these 95 to 89 kind of games. They're they're scoring big. They're exciting. Uh, they, it, it's great for the NBA. I mean, if if, if you're uh, the, the NBA commissioner right now, you're just thrilled that that you have a team making this kind of history. You have a team where, listen, it's Wednesday. You know, we're approaching the final four weeks of the NFL regular season, and we're opening up a show on a national on national radio show at ESPN talking Golden State Warriors basketball. You're right, because that's rarely the case. The NBA season usually starts 
on Christmas Day. Yeah, it's, it's amazing what's happening. And I was mentioning earlier the poor Carolina Panthers are 12 and 0 and being totally overshadowed by yeah. Golden State. And Mike was mentioning that San Antonio is off to a terrific start, 18 and 4, right. and and they're getting uh, no attention. Well, I think with Carolina, we've seen so many teams in the NFL probably start 12 and 0. It's rare where we see the team start a season 23 and 0 in the NBA. I mean, I, that's why and they deserve all the interest. They deserve all the attention that they're getting. Um, I'm not certain, man. Mike and Dan were on this last year saying this was this was a historic team. I laughed at them. I said, let's win a championship first. They've done that. Um, I'm not certain. Like, A, I was wrong. I was on the wrong side of that argument. This is one of the best teams we've ever seen, period. I don't care if they don't win the championship this year. It's one of the best teams we've ever seen. They were doing things that teams in the NBA have never done. Steph Curry is doing things that individuals in the NBA has never done. He's the best player in the NBA. It's not LeBron anymore. It is Steph Curry. Um I'm starting to wonder if they break this record, the Bulls win record, and go on to win a second NBA championship. I think we could safely say it's the greatest team to ever play in the NBA because what you have, Greg, is back-to-back championships plus them breaking. Because I think a lot of people would say, no, those Bulls teams. Well, they're about to break the Bulls, or they're on the verge, or they're on pace here to break the Bulls' regular season win record. If they could do that with back-to-back championships, for me, and I can't believe I'm saying this because I mocked Mike a year ago when he was saying this. He was calling them an historic team, and I mocked him. I laughed at him. I think you could safely say they're the greatest team to ever play in the NBA if they do both those things. They have to break the Bulls' win record, and they have to, to win the title, which would be back-to-back title. And, and you factor in that this is a pretty young team that contractually looks like it's going to be together for a while. Yeah. So, you know, we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves now, but if they win back-to-back championships, the idea of them winning three in a row or four out of five or, or that kind of a, a dynasty-type streak is not the least bit outlandish. Well, Mike always says, and there's no, Mike, you're like, correct me if I'm wrong here, they're young and they're, the salaries are, are very, they're very good for the team. They're very good for the Warriors. So they can keep this core intact for a long, long time. And they probably will. Raymond Green, Steph Curry, uh, they have really, they have really friendly salaries for the Golden State Warriors. Uh, so I think they'll stay together. Uh, Mike, this team, I can't believe I'm saying this. They're better than they were last year. It's incredible. Yeah. And, and not just a little better. Like a lot better. A lot Steph better. Curry's a lot better than he was last year. And the Warriors are a lot better than they were last year. This is the team that won the championship last year, and he's a guy that won the MVP. And both entities, both him as an individual and the team, are not a little better. They're a lot better. Yeah, I, I would <laughs> love, I would love uh, uh, LeBron James right now giving a shot of truth serum to, to see what he honestly thinks, because I think what he's thinking has got to be, how am I going to win a championship? How am I going to give Cleveland a championship? I'm getting older. Right. Uh, Golden State's right here and getting better. How am I going to do what I said I would do for Cleveland? He's not going to do it. I don't think so. There's no way he's going to do it. I think he'd be lucky to get out of the East this year, LeBron James. He's not going to do it. For me, he's still the the East favorite, but, man, he's he would be the third or fourth best team in the West. But, you know, if they play the Warriors, they're going to lose. If they play San Antonio, they're going to lose. One of those two teams is going to represent the West in the NBA Finals, yep. and I'm with you. Like LeBron, Cavaliers, probably the favorites to represent the East in the NBA Finals. He didn't beat neither of those teams. No. He must know it. Makes me so happy. Back into this. Poor Dan Stool from the Clevelander on ESPN Radio. Hey, it's Flo, and this is my impression of a home inspector who needs friends. Yep. Yeah. So these studs need to be quarter inch further apart, give or take half an inch. It's got to be just right. You know, like the coverage Progressive provides for your construction business. Otherwise, I'll have to shut you guys down. <laughs> but if I do, maybe you could come out for Tuesday trivia. Fair warning, I'm kind of a know-it-all. You'll see what I mean at board game night. Hey, what's your number? Commercial insurance that's perfect for your small business. Visit ProgressiveCommercial.com to learn more. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. The college football playoff. Clemson, Oklahoma, Alabama, Michigan State. If you're not ready for the playoffs, you might not have a pulse. The coverage begins New Year's Eve at 3 Eastern on ESPN and on ESPN Radio. Guys, when you buy your clothes at DXL, you look good. But you feel like a rock star. So you want to look and feel like a... You'll find all the brands you love, waist size 38 and up, all in one awesome store. DXL, you're looking good. Shop now for deals from 30 to 50% off. See DestinationXL.com for details.
We're here outside of Metro PCS store and it's amazing. Once people hear of the deal Metro PCS has to offer, they all say, I'm moving to Metro. I'm moving to Metro. I'm moving to Metro. And the reasons they're moving are many. I'm moving for a free 4G LTE smartphone from Samsung. I'm moving for the unlimited data, text, and talk for $30, period. I'm moving for the fast T-Mobile network. I'm here to move for all of that. <laughs> Make your move to Metro PCS right now and you can get a free 4G LTE smartphone. Sales tax not included. Not just anyone, but a fantastic smartphone from great brands like Samsung and LG. Now that's what I'm talking about. A free 4G LTE smartphone, unlimited data, talk, and text for $30, period, on the fast nationwide T-Mobile network. That's Metro PCS. And that's why I'm moving to Metro. Hurry in. This offer only lasts for a limited time. Only at Metro PCS. $30 plan includes first one gigabyte of data and up to LTE speeds. Phone price after instant rebate. One offer excludes numbers on the T-Mobile network. Coverage and service is not available everywhere. See store at MetroPCS.com for details and terms and conditions. This is ESPN Radio. The gift that keeps on giving is almost always just a metaphor. Open it once, gift over. But at TGI Fridays, we have the gift that actually does keep on giving. For just 10 bucks, get any endless app, like one of eight flavors of boneless wings, and we'll keep them coming over and over again. For a bit more, you can switch to another app. Loaded potato skins? Sure. Pan-seared pot stickers? Fine. You can even try them all. We don't care. We're just excited about giving and giving and then giving some more. Endless apps with endless choice are back at TGI Fridays. At participating restaurants for a limited time. While supplies last, other restrictions apply. Only Wendy's makes a deal feel like a meal. Introducing the new 4 for 4. 4 bucks for the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger with freshly cooked Applewood smoked bacon, 4 all-white meat nuggets, and natural cut sea salt fries and drink. That's right, just 4 bucks for a Junior Bacon Cheeseburger, nuggets, fries, and a drink. That's one beefy, cheesy, sizzling, crispy, icy deal. Get more. Get 4 for 4. Now at Wendy's. Offer includes small fries and drink. Have participate in Wendy's for a limited time. Prices may vary. Often valid in Alaska and Hawaii. Danny, watch me chuck this football into the bed of your Nissan Titan. <laughs> right, Ryan. That's at least 60 yards. Yeah, but I've got Heisman strength. Heisman strength? Nissan Heisman house is back. All those amazing Heisman winners living under one roof. Yeah, and? Well, if you concentrate, you can channel that positive football energy. Watch. <laughs> Sorry, Linda. You need to channel some aim, my friend. Visit NissanHeismanHouse.com to vote for the next Heisman winner and find out how you could win tickets to college football's national championship game. No purchase necessary. See official rules for details. Guys, wouldn't your wife or girlfriend love it if you treated her to the very best this Christmas? Well, you can, and you don't even have to go out of your way. We're talking about the world's softest pajamas. Available exclusively at Pajamagram.com. That's Pajamagram.com. Created by a team of dedicated pajama experts, the world's softest pajamas are lighter than a cloud, softer than a bunny, like cashmere, only better. Talk about dreamy. She'll love the way the world's softest pajamas feel. You'll love the way they caress every curve. More than a gift, they're a feeling, an invitation to linger a little longer. The world's softest pajamas are available only at pajamagram.com. Visit today and give her a gift that keeps on giving to both of you. You don't even have to wrap. Every Pajamagram includes free gift packaging. Christmas delivery guaranteed. Call 1-800-GIVE-PJs or click the banner to visit Pajamagram.com. All right, everybody, I want you to think about the time, the money, and the hassle that it takes to hold a meeting, especially if members of your team are spread out all over the city, all over the country, maybe even all over the world. Here's our recommendation. Meet your clients and coworkers online with Citrix GoToMeeting. It's a smarter way to meet. GoToMeeting makes it easy to meet with your team whenever you need to, wherever you are. With GoToMeeting, you can meet from any computer, tablet, or smartphone. Without travel expenses or the hassle of any bad traffic as well, your team can join by clicking a link. No sign-ups, no speed bumps. Turn on your webcam, and with HD quality, it's like being in the room. You can share screens to present, review, and get feedback in real time. Because with GoToMeeting, everyone sees what you're seeing, so your team can get on the same page and get going. We recommend you sign up for GoToMeeting today. You can try it absolutely free for 30 days. There's nothing to lose. Visit GoToMeeting.com, click the Try It Free button. Do it now, have your first meeting up and running in minutes. That's GoToMeeting.com for your free 30-day trial. Your favorite ESPN radio shows, podcasts, local radio, online, anytime. ESPNRadio.com Don Levitard. There was some confusion 
this weekend when everyone was retweeting Tony Dungy's Twitter account because the you and the I are very close together and you don't want to hit the I when you write the word shutting school guards. When Dungy discovered his mistake, he must have gone, holy shut. <laughs> This is the Dan Levatar Show with the Stugats on ESPN Radio. Tim Leitler, 15 minutes on the Subway Fresh Take Hotline. Subway and Star Wars fans use the Subway app to win prizes daily. At Subway, the fans are strong here. I love reading the uh, text reaction when Dan is not in. He is not in today. It ranges. It's all over the place. No, Dan, today's show is going to suck. That's what we get from one texter. The very next text, the show is actually much better without Dan. Did Dan, did Dan send in that first text about the show sucking? <laughs> I'm certain Dan's not listening to us here radio. I am positive of that. Dan doesn't listen to sports radio. He doesn't. Seriously. He's not a listener of sports. He doesn't listen. That's why he stays so sane, I think. Mike, is that fair? It is, you're right. It's the reason he stays sane, because sports radio will drive you crazy. Right. Uh, he doesn't listen, really, does he? I think it's just, like, where does he have time to? Like, after just gas bagging all day, I think the guy just takes a nap. Right, so he's in it. He's in it for like five to six hours every single day, so the last thing he wants to do is listen after he's done. What, is he going to hear something new? Like, he's <laughs> digesting every topic possible. It really is. Uh, I need a ruling from you guys on this, okay? Again, Tim Legler will join us at 10, uh, 1030. I want to get into the discussion that Danny Cannell started yesterday off the op-ed piece the New York Times. I know you're interested in it. Uh, Dan was, was pretty outspoken about it as well, so we'll discuss that. But I do need a ruling for both uh, you and Mike Ryan. So I just moved again. It's the third time in six years that I've moved. But I'm just moving around within the same development. I live up in Parkland, Florida, so it's about an hour north from our studios uh, at the Cleveland. There's a restaurant up there, right by my house, that I like. That every time you move, what they do, it's very smart. They mail you something. Welcome, uh, they're welcoming you to the neighborhood. And what they are offering is free dinner on them. That's why you keep moving. $50. Well, this will be the third time in the last six years I've taken advantage of this offer. And my wife was saying, you can't do it. You can't do it. You should call them and say, hey. Because, and they'll even personalize it. They say, John and Abby Wiener, welcome to the neighborhood. Dinner on us, up to $50. Very smart, right? It is. To identify who's new in the neighborhood. The glitch in their, in their plan here is, they're not realizing that I just keep moving around within the neighborhood. So this will be the third $50 free dinner that I take advantage of in the last six years. And my wife is saying no. You have to call the restaurant and tell them you've been here for six years. You will not get another free meal. I'm like, Abby, it's a free meal. What are you so worried about? Like, she just tried to, she's adamant about this. She's been yelling about I, I, I wanted to get it last night. She said, no, I'm not doing that to them. We've already gotten two free dinners from them. Well, is it the same ownership, the same waitresses, the... Same everything. Yeah. Yeah. Tough call, man. You'd take the free dinner, wouldn't you? I think I would. Of course you would. Yeah. Who wouldn't take the free dinner? Yeah. Mike, you take the free dinner? Yeah, right. Yeah, there's nothing wrong there. Well, what's Abby doing? I have no idea what she's doing there. She's wrong here. Totally wrong. Being decent? Is that what she's doing? No. No. You're purchasing a new house. Right. Like, you, you can get a $50 dinner. Okay. You moved. You, you earned it. You earned that $50 meal. I did? Yeah, you moved. Yeah, but I'm not new to the neighborhood. You know? It's, it's like a gift for staying to that loyal. House. It's a gift for staying loyal to that community. All right. Honestly, they should give everybody an annual one. I, I can't even, I cannot believe I'm overthinking this, and the only reason I'm overthinking because, Mike, you know I do it in a heartbeat. I'm overthinking it because of Abby. She's in my head. She's telling me this isn't right. Oh, and then she's telling me, here's the other thing she did to me. All right, let's get the food and give it to the homeless. $50 worth of free food, we'll give it to a homeless person. Right, that's a nice idea. Well, I said, Abby, look outside where we lived on the golf course here, okay? Tell me how many homeless people you see. Hey, what do you want me to do? I mean, box it. I mean, there's plenty by our garage. There's a homeless guy right behind me right now in the alley. The Clevelander. He is. I see him every morning. Yeah. Did you see him this morning? I did not. No. I know the guy you mean, though. Yeah. I give him something on the way out every day. Yeah. Yeah. Always has cigarettes. Cigarettes are expensive. I'm always confused. He does always have cigarettes. He's always smoking cigarettes, and he always has a sandwich. You know what I'm And a newspaper. <laughs> Thank God he still reads a newspaper. I'd have made that guy. The only thing you give that guy is a dirty look, though. Right. That's bad. Uh, 
I don't want to get off on this rant, but <laughs> if you're a homeless person yes. seeking money, right, you shouldn't have a cigarette dangling from your mouth when you're doing it. People don't want to buy you a pack of cigarettes. They want to buy you a cheeseburger. Right. Am I right? Yes. Put your cigarette away. It's not a smart handle, handle and then go back to smoke. It's not a smart marketing strategy. If you are homeless, the strategy should be, I have nothing. Right. I have nothing. It's not a smart strategy. Right. I'm with it, you on that. It's like, uh, you know, standing on a street corner with a can of Colt 45. When right. you're asking for money, you just don't do that. Right. Yeah. But you're asking me for money with, with worldly possessions. Yes. You got a beer, you got a cigarette, you right. got books, you yeah, got you're magazines. You're on your iPhone, you know. <laughs> but he's projecting a lush life, is he? <laughs> well, he's not really exactly doing that. He's drinking cold 45. <laughs> Mike, he always does have something. I'm telling you, every time I see him, he's going to say it. Yeah. But he's clearly very homeless. <laughs> When's the last time you gave him something? Uh, I haven't. I really? Haven't. No, I haven't. I try to get through that alley as quick as possible. Head down? Yeah, head down. I just keep moving. It's not just, it's not because of him. It's just because it, it's kind of just foul. Like, there's all sorts of garbage back there, all sorts of, I just try to just keep moving. Yeah. yeah. Um, I thought, you know me, I'll chat someone up. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> no, 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 I talk to the guy. I do. I talk to him. Uh, people are getting on me saying, so Abby was okay with the, uh, with the first two free meals, but she draws the line at the third. Yeah. You gotta she draw the line somewhere. She wasn't okay with the second one, by the way. She was not, she didn't want to do it last time, two years ago when we moved. She yeah. didn't want to do it then. The, the restaurant can afford fifty bucks. Alright. Um, we don't have enough time here because we're talking about homeless people and pizza deals. I do want to get your thoughts on, on what transpired yesterday with, uh, with Danny Cannell and, and Dan Levitard and this op-ed piece because, I do find it fascinating, and I think through all the yelling and screaming yesterday, we kind of lost focus on what the op-ed piece was all about, and it wasn't about adults playing football, it was about kids, and whether or not we should let our kids play football. And incidentally, for those of you who came at us yesterday saying, well, don't play hockey, or boxing, or MMA, don't let your kids do that, the op-ed piece, you need to read it. Now, I don't read a lot. But this is short, and I appreciate him keeping it short because I read it, and it was very good and very well thought out. He's not just saying football. He's saying all sports. Wherever there's head trauma involved in sports, our kids should not be playing it until they're 18. And I feel like, Greg, everyone, because we were screaming and yelling, and it's Canal and it's Levitard, and everyone's going back and forth, we lost sight of what he was really trying to say. And what he was trying to say is our kids shouldn't be doing this. And he did specifically mention uh, boxing, MMA, and ice hockey, uh, although clearly it, it was about football concussions. Right. But, um, you know, I don't think two 45-pound kids playing peewee flag football are really in danger of ruining their lives. I just don't. And, and the thing is, you know, a lot of kids play youth football. Very few of those kids go on to play high school football. Even fewer make it to the college level, and sure. fewer still make it to the NFL. So when you're talking about a lifetime of sustained pounding that eventually gives you CTE and, and problems throughout your life, you're not talking about 95% of those little kids who are playing peewee football. You're talking about the ones who are making a lifetime commitment and playing football and taking those poundings for 20 years, which is a, a small percentage of everybody who starts playing. But I think the question, and and you make good points, and we're going to Tim Leitler next, then you and I will get into this after that, but uh, I think the question is, should these kids be allowed to make these decisions? Like the parents, the kids can't make these decisions. Right. They want to play. The parents are making decisions on these kids' behalf, and should the parents be making what I believe to be a bad decision on their kids' behalf? Because I do. I don't think it's worth the risk. I really don't. So we'll discuss it. We'll discuss it uh, after we have Tim Leckler on. We'll talk about the Warriors. We'll talk a little bit about LeBron James and uh, some other stuff. Oh, his holiday lights. Holiday lighting next with Tim Leckler. He's Dan Stu and Greg Cody on ESPN Radio. The biggest New Year's Eve party of all time. And you're invited. The Orange Bowl, Clemson, Oklahoma. The Cotton Bowl, Alabama, Michigan State. The College Football Playoff. Coverage begins New Year's Eve at 3 Eastern on ESPN and on ESPN Radio.
Hey guys, we're halfway through the holiday season. It's time to get serious about your shopping. No worries, Sport Clips Haircuts Holiday Halftime Giveaway is here. Finish off your Santa list or splurge on yourself because Sport Clips is giving away $500 cash daily now through December 11th. Visit sportclips.com slash holiday to register for your chance to win. Sport Clips, it's good to be a guy, especially during the holidays. No purchase necessary ends 12-11, must be 18 or older, subject to official rules at sportclips.com slash holiday. Void where prohibited. The Capital One Quicksilver Card presents the greatest college football plays, as told by Charles Barkley. So the quarterback was some Boston school way back in the 80s. He's like five feet tall, and he's running around so he can see. He just chucks the ball downfield with no time left, and some other dude caught it for a touchdown, and they won. That was pretty cool. The greatest college football plays has been brought to you by the Quicksilver Card. Watch the Capital One Orange Bowl New Year's Eve to see the next great play Barkley and everyone else will be talking about. Stu Gatz here for 1-800-Flowers. Love telling you about 1-800-Flowers. It is December. That means it's Dan's birthday. That means I need to get him his favorite gift. And what's his favorite gift? Of course, flowers from 1-800-Flowers.com. The only way I send flowers. They are the best. I love them. And 1-800-Flowers is giving our listeners a great limited time offer. Order a beautiful full bouquet of 18 red and white peppermint roses plus a vase for just $29.99. That's an awesome deal. The perfect gift to send this season. You know what? It is the holiday season. Show someone in your life how much they mean to you, how much you care about them. The only way to do it is to go to 1-800-Flowers and get this incredible offer again. A full bouquet of 18 red and white peppermint roses plus a vase for just $29.99. And you'll save $20, but only when you use Dan's name to order. It's a great deal. It's only available for a limited time while supplies last. Go to 1-800-Flowers.com, click on the radio microphone in the upper right-hand corner, and enter Dan. That's 1-800-Flowers.com. Enter Dan. Wherever you are, we are. Your radio, your phone, your computer. This is ESPN Radio. What's better than all punk and everything? Everything you need on GoPhone from AT&T. It gives you unlimited talk, text, and data usage with the first 1.5 gigabytes at high speed. Plus, it's only 40 bucks a month after a $5 auto refill discount. AT&T, mobilizing your world. First payment is $45. $5 discount applied to monthly rate plan charge upon enrollment and auto refill. After first 1.5 gigabytes, get data speeds up to 128 kilobytes per second. Additional charges and restrictions apply. See store for details. <laughs> Geico presents Strange Saving Stories. Astronomers detected an interstellar transmission. It stated, Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. The implications were staggering. Was the cosmos telling us we could all save hundreds on car insurance with Geico? Or did their radar merely pick up a signal from the nearby Rufus and Clyde's morning show? We may never know. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Are you tired of commuting to a job that makes someone else rich, working harder than ever, but getting nowhere? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare, having someone else raise your children? With our opportunities, you can start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss, work from home, and live a happier life. At Be The Boss Network, you'll find hundreds of work-from-home opportunities that you can literally start today and be earning money as soon as next week. Go to Freedom105.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss. Get out of the rat race. Work from home. Go to Freedom105.com right now and change your life today. That's Freedom, the number 105.com. Go to Freedom105.com and start earning money as soon as next week you be the boss go to freedom 105.com you are locked onto the most listened to stream in the world espnradio.com espn radio sports I'm Christine Lisi right now. One half of the Warriors of Splash Brothers injured as the team continued its historic streak to start the season. Guard Clay Thompson left late in the 131-123 victory over the Pacers with an ankle injury. X-rays were negative. Thompson told ESPN's Mark Stein he's hopeful to play Friday against the Celtics or Saturday against the Bucks. Defending NBA champion Golden State is 23-0. 
The Cavaliers getting close to having everybody on their roster healthy and available to play for the first time all season. The return of Kyrie Irving from knee surgery and Iman Shepard from a wrist injury is imminent. Both will accompany the Cavs on the upcoming road trip through Orlando and Boston starting Friday. Clemson defensive end Shaq Lawson, a finalist for the Lombardi Award given to the nation's top lineman or linebacker, both Fox 26 Sports will declare for the NFL draft. ESPN draft expert Mel Kuyper Jr. lists Lawson as the number four defensive end available. Baseball, the Diamondbacks and Braves finalized their five-player trade, which included pitcher Shelby Miller heading to Arizona and shortstop Dan Danby Swanson, the number one overall pick this year, going to Atlanta. Give the gift of Sublove this holiday season with Subway cards. It's never been easier. Get them on the Subway app, online, or in store today so that everyone on your list can enjoy delicious freshly made sandwiches just the way they say. Subway, eat fresh. Not in a card. Stu, I just sent you a video of this dude's crazy bird. Check it out. Stu Gats. Whoa, that is some crazy bird. This is the Don Levatar Show with the Stu Gats on ESPN Radio. <laughs> ESPN Radio is presented by Progressive Insurance. Now you can test drive Snapshot to see how much you can save before switching to Progressive. It's a Progressive.com slash Snapshot. Tom Habishrell will join us in one hour. Robert Smith at 12.30. Tim Leckler, our buddy, is going to join us here on the Subway Fresh Day Hotline. Have we established, Mike, whether or not Legs likes this hacky song that you play? Every time he comes on, he does like it. Yeah, he loves it. He loves it. He loves it. Like, you still like it? It's, you, you it still makes me feel like I'm home, you know? I really, I really do look forward to it. <laughs> Legs, I heard you on, uh, I was watching on Sports Center last night. You said something, uh, it, it made me think a little bit. You said the Golden State Warriors are the greatest shooting team in the history of the NBA. That's not the part that made me think. What I started thinking about, because you're right, obviously, is there even a close second? Honestly, I, I don't know who, who you would go to. You know, I, I think it's about the Phoenix Suns when Nash was there and they you know, had a four or five year run. Uh, and it seemed like every night, you know, they, they were the greatest show on earth. You know, there was must see TV to see them. And they're so entertaining with fast pace and Nash was finding everybody. And I, I think it was because relative to what the league was at one time, they, they just stood out. But I don't even think that team is close to what this team is doing. Uh, and the number of guys on a roster that are mm -hmm. capable of, of beating you with a three-point shot. Um, and that, that's, to me, besides the fact that Curry and Thompson, if they are the best shooting back court in the history of this league, I don't think there's any question about it. They have another six, seven guys on this team that, that are deadly three-point shooters. And so when you have an unselfishness, and that's your culture, and they do have that, and it's great character in this team. And you have that many guys that can hurt you. That's why they're able to do the things that they're doing right now. Because defensively, you just can't take away enough. And you're you're always chasing the basketball. And you never quite catch up to it. And um, with the way Curry and Thompson get rid of the ball as fast as they do, even when you think you've got reasonable defensive position for a good closeout contest, you really don't. These aren't ordinary guys. I think Indiana got a taste of that last night because they, they weren't anywhere near uh, physical enough to get in the beginning of the game to try to make sure they didn't get catch and shoots in the first quarter to get them some rhythm. Because when they do that, now the rim is twice as big, and, and you're never going to be able to catch up. And that's what happened to the Pacers last night. Tim, poor San Antonio is having a terrific season and being totally overshadowed. Hey, looking ahead to a presumptive Western Finals between San Antonio and Golden State, how does the best coach in basketball figure out a way to beat Golden State? Yeah, it's, it's tough, and I'll tell you why. One of the problems, and look, Greg Popovich, in my opinion, is the best coach that this league has ever seen. And he, he's, he's already thinking about this, believe me. He's already thinking about what he has to do. Uh, down the road because he knows that this is the team that he's got his sights on. The problem that they have right now is their best basketball is played offensively with two bigs on the court. And their high-low action that they've gotten with Duncan and Aldridge or West and Duncan or West and Aldridge, that has been their best basketball most of this year. And I watched them play the other night, and I was watching Aldridge and Duncan play together, and I said, man, that is just such such a great tandem because Duncan is such a great passer. They're so unselfish and they can play inside out. The problem is how are you going to put those two guys on the floor defensively and guard Golden State? You just can't do it because 
they're not going to be able to defend the pick and roll the trap the way they're going to have to that far out and then also rotate out and go catch up to the next shooter because Golden State moves the ball too well. So that, to me, is, the, is going to be the biggest challenge that the Spurs are going to have. And are they going to have to play small work to match up? Yeah, you know, a lot more minutes at the four. You only play one big at a time. If that's the case, you're taking away something that's really good for you offensively to try to match up with Golden State, and you're still not as good with your smaller lineup. So, you know, as good as San Antonio has been, Golden State has been that much better this year. And you look at them, and I watch them a lot of nights, and I just say it's a foregone conclusion. No one is beating that team this year. Right. Crazy. Uh, Legs, they have uh, they have five games remaining before they play the Cavaliers on Christmas Day. And Mike brought up an interesting point, I thought, Mike Ryan, our executive producer, where if they get to that game undefeated, and I think that they will, and I think everyone expects them to be undefeated, uh, Celtics, Milwaukee, then at home with Phoenix, Milwaukee, and Utah, and then it's that Christmas Day game at home against the Cavs. Mike was saying it will be the highest-rated regular season game ever in the history of the NBA, and I agree. Do you? I agree wholeheartedly, and it should be. And I hope I hope that I'm not supposed to root for anybody uh, covering the entire league, right. but I have a selfish reason for hoping that Golden State is undefeated when they go into the Christmas Day game, because I'm going to be there calling that game on radio. Nice. So I, I want to see I want to see history, and I want to be there uh, you know, to see them potentially go for their third or third consecutive regular season. Well, that's another topic. I disagree with the fact that it's split season. I just, I just think it's silly to compare a team that won 33 straight in the same season with a team that has four games carry over to the next year because they did lose games in the postseason. Right. So I think it's weird to think of the streak in that way. But the bottom line is, I completely agree with you. Golden State's undefeated. I think it's Cavaliers Christmas Day. And that will be the highest rated game in the history of the league. I don't think there's any doubt about it. I think for me, if Golden State can get by Boston, I think they're going to do that. I think they're going to be 25 and 0 going into that game. Boston's going to be, or, or uh, coming out of the road trip, I should say, uh, 28 and 0 going into that Christmas Day game. Boston is not going to be an easy win. They had air guards that defensively are going to compete and are athletic enough to put up a much better fight than you saw out of Indiana last night. And if you're Coach LeBron James, how do you figure out a way to uh, beat Golden State on Christmas Day? What's the strategy? It's tough. It, well, it's tough. And I know there's, there's talking now about Kyrie coming back at some point before that and being able to play uh, you know, maybe close to normal minutes. If that's the case, Christmas Day, you don't know what kind of rhythm he's going to have. Um, well, you, you, know, you saw it a year ago, and I know, I know Cleveland you know, was missing love, missing Kyrie Irving. She didn't see them at full strength. Uh, this Golden State team, to me, is playing at a much higher level than at any point that, uh, that they played last year. So that's saying a lot. This team won 67 games a year ago, won a title, and I, and I think they're playing at a higher level now than at any point last year. So, so you look at the stakes being raised for Cleveland and how they're going to be able to do that. It's tough. I mean, offensively, I think Cleveland is a team that's going to be able to score to stay in the game. The question when you play the Warriors is always going to be, how do you put enough defense on the court that enables you to also be able to score with them? And that's the, that's the problem. Teams just don't have that kind of balance of both ends of the floor. Uh, you know, LeBron obviously is going to be able to keep you in it. He kept in the series by himself a year ago. It was superhuman what he was doing in that series. Um, but right now, there's just no one that is even close to looking Golden State in the eye, and that includes Cleveland, even with Kyrie Irving back. So it's going to take a couple of months before you really know what Cleveland's going to look like for the postseason. Lennox, does LeBron James win another championship? I'm going to go out there and say, yeah. I, I, you know, and, and the reason why, I don't necessarily say, well, Golden State stays healthy for the next three, four years or whoever in the West, whether Oklahoma City finally figures it out or the Spurs continue to rejuvenate themselves. And so it's always going to be some Western Conference team that's said. I just think at some point, because it's LeBron, because he's on a team that, is, that, that has enough talent when they're healthy and capable of winning it, you think that a break, they'll get some breaks at some point in terms of somebody goes down for one of these teams and they catch them at the right time, rather than vice versa. And, and I would hate to think that He's not going to win another championship after he leaves Miami when he's still on his prime and he's still playing at the level that he is. Uh, and he's got talent around him. And he's got a, a, a situation where guys are willing to come play with him. He's never going to have a problem Ready. having guys. That's something that, that guys honestly are going to want to do because he will make you better. 
and he's unselfish, and so guys want to play with him. So he's never going to have that problem either in terms of, of replenishing his roster if they do lose people. So I would have to think, my gut would say, yeah, he's going to get another one. I don't know if we'll get more than one, uh, and I might be wrong about that. But, I, you know, he's just, he's just too great a player, and he's on a team that seems like they're going to be, be want, winning the Eastern Conference for the foreseeable future. So you think that one of those years, they're going to be able to break through and beat whoever comes into the West. Legs, great as always. We'll have you on in a couple. I wanted to get the holiday lights, but we'll uh, we'll do it in a couple of weeks as we get closer. All right, hey, I'll catch up with you guys before Christmas. All right, thank you, Tim. That is the uh, great Tim Legler joining us here on the Subway Fresh Take Album. Hey, these sets are not going to read themselves. No, so I'll read them. The ESPN Fan Shop, powered by Dick's Sporting Goods, is your online destination for NCAA jerseys and apparel this holiday season. The ESPN Fan Shop, powered by Dick's Sporting Goods, is the perfect gift destination for the NCAA fan in your life. Shop great deals in NCAA fleece for the whole family. I love it there, man. It's a great site. Holidays right around the corner. Take advantage right now. No matter what school you cheer for, get ready for bowl season and cheer on your team with the best NCAA apparel and gifts. From jackets to jerseys and everything in between, you'll be the best fan this winter with NCAA Apparel. Show your school spirit this holiday season with NCAA Apparel at the ESPN Fan Shop, powered by Dick Sporting Goods. Voy a reír, voy a bailar, on the Dan Levatar Show on ESPN Radio. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit geico.com. Hey, it's Flo, and this is my impression of a traveling lounge singer. And we're going up the airport escalator. Hey, where are you from? <laughs> no response. Classic. Got an accident, so you got to take a cab, huh? No cabs at Progressive Service Centers. They got rental cars on site, which is out of sight, you know? <laughs> Progressive takes the hassle out of claims. Just drop your car at one of our service centers, and we'll manage the rest. Here's a little number I like to call. Waiting for the shuttle bus. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company. Service centers not available in all areas. You have a choice of repair facilities. B-Dubs presents B-Dubbing. All right. They're up by 21, but now's not the time to quit. Now's the time to buy a holiday gift card at Buffalo Wild Wings. They think they've beaten us, but yard by yard, we're going to purchase gift cards totaling $25 or more. And we will get a $5 blazing bonus for yourself. Who's with me? Now let's go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. Found at participating locations in New York, Florida, Rhode Island, and Canada for a limited time while supplies last. Limit four terms and conditions apply. This is ESPN Radio. This is Mike and Mike. Mike and Mike. How can offsides on a kickoff not be reviewable? You either ran over a line or you didn't. North Carolina didn't. They're down eight points and they recover an onside kick. They should have had a chance to go down there and try and tie the game. I believe Clemson is a better team, but North Carolina absolutely should have had that chance. And instead, they're in the Russell Athletic Bowl. Keep up with Mike and Mike on ESPN Radio and ESPN2. All right, everybody, I want you to think about the time, the money, and the hassle that it takes to hold a meeting, especially if members of your team are spread out all over the city, all over the country, maybe even all over the world. Here's our recommendation. Meet your clients and coworkers online with Citrix GoToMeeting. It's a smarter way to meet. GoToMeeting makes it easy to meet with your team whenever you need to, wherever you are. With GoToMeeting, you can meet from any computer, tablet, or smartphone. Without travel expenses or the hassle of any bad traffic as well, your team can join by clicking a link. No sign-ups, no speed bumps. Turn on your webcam, and with HD quality, it's like being in the room. You can share screens to present, review, and get feedback in real time. Because with GoToMeeting, everyone sees what you're seeing, so your team can get on the same page and get going. We recommend you sign up for GoToMeeting today. You can try it absolutely free for 30 days. There's nothing to lose. Visit GoToMeeting.com, click the Try It Free button. Do it now. Have your first meeting up and running in minutes. That's GoToMeeting.com for your free 30-day trial. We've all been following College Game Day, and you know that the Chevy Silverado has been dependably getting the Game Day crew to Game Day each week this season, which is no surprise since Silverado is legendary for being dependable and long-lasting. High-strength steel construction, impressive efficiency, horsepower, and towing. No wonder Silverado 1500 was named highest-ranked large light-duty pickup in initial quality by J.D. Power in 2015. Visit Chevy.com to learn more. For J.D. Power award information, go to JDPower.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. 
Guys, wouldn't your wife or girlfriend love it if you treated her to the very best this Christmas? Well, you can, and you don't even have to go out of your way. We're talking about the world's softest pajamas, available exclusively at Pajamagram.com. That's Pajamagram.com, created by a team of dedicated pajama experts. The world's softest pajamas are lighter than a cloud, softer than a bunny, like cashmere, only better. Talk about dreamy. She'll love the way the world's softest pajamas feel. You'll love the way they caress every curve. More than a gift, they're a feeling, an invitation to linger a little longer. The world's softest pajamas are available only at pajamagram.com. Visit today and give her a gift that keeps on giving to both of you. You don't even have to wrap. Every Pajamagram includes free gift packaging, Christmas delivery guaranteed. Call 1-800-GIVE-PJs or click the banner to visit Pajamagram.com. Hey guys, we're halfway through the holiday season. It's time to get serious about your shopping. No worries, Sport Clips Haircuts Holiday Halftime Giveaway is here. Finish off your Santa list or splurge on yourself because Sport Clips is giving away $500 cash daily now through December 11th. Visit sportclips.com slash holiday to register for your chance to win. Sport Clips, it's good to be a guy, especially during the holidays. No purchase necessary ends 12-11, must be 18 or older, subject to official rules at sportclips.com slash holiday. Void were prohibited. We're here outside a Metro PCS store, and it's amazing. Once people hear of the deal Metro PCS has to offer, they all say, I'm moving to Metro. I'm moving to Metro. I'm moving to Metro. And the reasons they're moving are many. I'm moving for a free 4G LTE smartphone from Samsung. I'm moving for the unlimited data, text, and talk for $30, period. I'm moving for the fast <laughs> T-Mobile network. I'm here to move for all of that. <laughs> Make your move to Metro PCS right now, and you can get a free 4G LTE smartphone. Sales tax not included. Not just anyone, but a fantastic smartphone from great brands like Samsung and LG. Now that's what I'm talking about. A free 4G LTE smartphone, unlimited data, talk, and text for $30, period, on the fast nationwide T-Mobile network. That's Metro PCS, and that's why I'm moving to Metro. Hurry in. This offer only lasts for a limited time, only at Metro PCS. $30 plan includes first one gigabyte of data and up to LTE speeds. Phone price after instant rebate. One offer excludes numbers on the T-Mobile network. Coverage and service is not available everywhere. See store at MetroPCS.com for details and terms and conditions. What's the big deal? Shut up. Go guys. I'm not a journalist. I'm a guest pet. This is the Don Levatar show on ESPN Radio. <laughs> ESPN Radio is presented by Progressive Insurance. Get in touch with the show anytime to the 800 Flowers Twitter feed. It's at Levitard Show at Stugat790 at Greg Cody. 1-800 Flowers has a special holiday bouquet. 18 red and white roses, just $29.99. It's an amazing deal. Order it right now. Get it for her. Get it for the lady in your life right now. 1-800-Flowers.com slash ESPN. ESPN is out today. Greg Cody is sitting in with me. We got you till 1 o'clock, then it's Rosillo and Cannell. We'll talk about Danny Cannell and his comments and the op-ed piece in the New York Times uh, at the top of the next hour here, Greg. Uh, something interesting that we got into with Legler there, I thought at least, is whether or not LeBron's going to win another championship. I don't think that Tim said he'll, he'll win one. I don't think he's going to win another. And the main reason for that is the emergence of the Golden State Warriors. They're not good. They're great. They're not going anywhere anytime soon. And LeBron is, is 31 and getting up there at eight. So maybe the most I'll give him is one. But again, I don't think he's going to win another one. But even if he did, and his career ended with three titles, and again, I don't think that he will. So I think his career is going to end with two titles. Shaq always says, Shaq was on Mike and Mike this morning. We'll get into something that he said because he lied. Um, that's a tease. At 11.15, I'll tell you what Shaq lied about. Um, he did. He lied. He flatly lied. But, Jack's a lot. 11.15. I'll tell you what. Um, I don't think LeBron's going to win another one. So, whether it's two or three, it doesn't matter. Shaq always says that he should have won more. And I think most people, because he was so dominant, so big, most people say Shaq should have won more championships. He won four, three with Kobe, one down here with Dwayne Wade, and the one he won with Wade, he wasn't the best player on that team. Wade was the best player on that team. 
Either way, two or three. LeBron James' career is a disappointment. When you consider all the hype and how great he is and people comparing him to Jordan, and I'm not doing this, I hate LeBron, although I do. He came down here, he gave us a great four years, two titles down here in Miami, four trips to the, to the NBA uh, Finals. But you would have to say with all the hype, King James at high school, you know, watching high school games, the hype that he came into, uh, all the talk about LeBron James when he came into the league, you would say it's a career disappointment if he only ends his career with two or three titles, right? I would with two. I think there's a big difference. I think if he wins that third and, and does for Cleveland what he said he was going to do, right. that's a big difference to his legacy for me, to his resume. So winning that one for Cleveland kind of feels like tacking on a, yes. an additional maybe two. I think so. Something like that. Yeah, because there, uh, you know, it, if you're LeBron, you don't want people to say, well, he needed Dwayne Wade to win a championship. You want to sort of win one where uh, you're clearly the best player and, and you don't have a, a two sidekicks who, who were called the big three. You know, in, in this case, I, I think LeBron does need to win that third one. But whether he does, I know Legler said he thinks he will. I, I, I find it tough to believe that he's going to get over this Golden State hurdle because the Warriors, they're, they're going to be around. Well, there's two teams. There's the Spurs and the Warriors out west. One of those two teams is going to make it to the NBA Finals. Most likely it's going to be the Warriors. But even if it's the Spurs, he's not beating them. He didn't beat them with Wade and Bosh. Right. At least if it wasn't even close in his final year down in Miami. It wasn't even close. At least if it's the Spurs, though. I mean, they're an old team. You know, their, their core is going to disrupt uh, in a season or two. Whereas Golden State is the opposite. They're, they're a young team. They're going to be intact for a while. You can see Golden State uh, being a modern dynasty, winning two in a row, winning three in a row, uh, winning four out of five. And, and that's the hurdle that's going to be tough for LeBron to get over. Uh, it is. I don't. I, I listen. I really, Mike. Do you think he's going to win another championship? I don't. Just Mike. Strictly based on the emergence, LeBron's not going anywhere. He's going to stay in Cleveland for the remainder of the uh, of his career. He's not going to go anywhere to try to find more titles. He's not doing that. Okay. Uh, do you think he's going to win another one? Yeah, I think he's going to win another one. I don't know if he's going to win another one as the guy. Um, I can't discount him being a veteran and latching on maybe to a team later in his career, maybe oh, even think, outside of Cleveland. Oh, you think he'd do that? Because I don't. I think he'd stay in Cleveland for the rest of his career. I don't I don't know. You never know. I mean, him and Dan Gilbert have already had their, their issues once, and he's proven that he'd do it. Now, I, I, I think Dan Gilbert would call his bluff. I dare him to sort of do it again. But right. you never know. I can't discount it. He's so great. Um, oh, he is great. He's so great and so skilled that even as an old player, his game, I think, will age kind of well right. um, because he can do other things. So I think he'll win another. Well, if he gets one more, if he gets another, and it doesn't matter how he gets it. If he gets it, he gets it, whether he's the second best player of the team or the best player of the team. If he gets a third, is that still, for me, it's still a career disappointment, especially if he doesn't do it in Cleveland. Like, that's a good point by Craig. If he gets one in Cleveland, if he gets one in Cleveland, he's a made man. And his legacy, like, because that one, he changed the math. That one is more important than catching up to Michael. He knows he's not going to catch up to Michael. All he has to do is win one. Yeah. Um, there. Right. Has to win one in Cleveland. Uh, Tom Habershaw will join us at 1130. We'll discuss the Warriors with him. Robert Smith at 1230. We'll get into this NFL issue next. Felicidades from the Dan Levantar Show on ESPN Radio. This is your game. The NBA is on ESPN Radio. Only Wendy's makes a deal feel like a meal. Introducing the new 4 for 4. 4 bucks for the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger with freshly cooked Applewood smoked bacon, 4 all-white meat nuggets, and natural cut sea salt fries and drink. That's right, just 4 bucks for a Junior Bacon Cheeseburger, nuggets, fries, and a drink. That's one beefy, cheesy, sizzling, crispy, icy deal. Get more. Get 4 for 4. Now at Wendy's. Offer includes small fries and drink. Have participate in Wendy's for a limited time. Price and air. Often valid in Alaska and Hawaii. The gift that keeps on giving is almost always just a metaphor. Open it once, gift over. But at TGI Fridays, we have the gift that actually does keep on giving. For just 10 bucks, get any endless app, like one of eight flavors of boneless wings, and we'll keep them coming over and over again. For a bit more, you can switch to another app. Loaded potato skins? Sure. Pan-seared pot stickers? Fine. You can even try them all. We don't care. We're just excited about giving and giving and then giving some more. Endless apps with endless choice are back at TGI Fridays. At participating restaurants for a limited time. While supplies last, other restrictions apply. The Capital One Quicksilver Card presents the greatest college football plays, as told by Charles Barkley. 
So the quarterback was from Boston School way back in the 80s. He's like five feet tall, and he's running around so he can see. He just chucks the ball downfield with no time left. And some other dude caught it for a touchdown, and they won. That was pretty cool. The greatest college football plays has been brought to you by the Quicksilver Card. Watch the Capital One Orange Bowl New Year's Eve to see the next great play Barkley and everyone else will be talking about. Stu God's here for 1-800-Flowers. Love telling you about 1-800-Flowers. It is December. That means it's Dan's birthday. That means I need to get him his favorite gift. And what's his favorite gift? Of course, flowers from 1-800-Flowers.com. The only way I send flowers. They are the best. I love them. And 1-800-Flowers is giving our listeners a great limited time offer. Order a beautiful full bouquet of 18 red and white peppermint roses plus a vase for just $29.99. That's an awesome deal. The perfect gift to send this season. You know what? It is the holiday season. Show someone in your life how much they mean to you, how much you care about them. The only way to do it is to go to 1-800-Flowers and get this incredible offer. Again, a full bouquet of 18 red and white peppermint roses plus a vase for just $29.99. And you'll save $20, but only when you use Dan's name to order. It's a great deal. It's only available for a limited time while supplies last. Go to 1-800-Flowers.com, click on the radio microphone in the upper right-hand corner, and enter Dan. That's 1-800-Flowers.com. Enter Dan. What's better than all punk and everything? Everything you need on GoPhone from AT&T. It gives you unlimited talk, text, and data usage with the first 1.5 gigabytes at high speed. Plus, it's only 40 bucks a month after a $5 auto refill discount. AT&T, mobilizing your world. First payment is $45. $5 discount applied to monthly rate plan charge upon enrollment and auto refill. After first 1.5 gigabytes, get data speeds up to 128 kilobytes per second. Additional charges and restrictions apply. See store for details. <laughs> Geico presents Strange Saving Stories. Astronomers detected an interstellar transmission. It stated, Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. The implications were staggering. Was the cosmos telling us we could all save hundreds on car insurance with Geico? Or did their radar merely pick up a signal from the nearby Rufus and Clyde's morning show? We may never know. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. It's the home stretch of the holiday season, and you've put off holiday shopping for long enough. And you don't want to push your way through a packed mall just to dig through already picked over clothing. Avoid that hassle, and go to jackthreads.com. They've already done the hard work to scour the globe for the best brands on the planet. Plus, develop their own line of core essential clothing every guy needs. Within minutes, you can find gifts for all the guys in your life, or simply stock up for yourself. They've got 100% cashmere sweaters at low cotton sweater prices. Jackets so versatile, you can dress them up or down. And basics every guy needs, like tees and button downs. You can get it all from Jack Threads and never have to leave your house. And to make this even more of a no-brainer, here's something extra special to help you give the gift of style. Go to jackthreads.com and use code CLASSIC at checkout for an additional 20% off your first purchase. That's jackthreads.com, code CLASSIC at checkout for an extra 20% off your first purchase. Some restrictions apply. Jack Threads. Style smart. ESPN Radio Sports I'm Christine Lisi. At this hour, the Warriors dealing with an injury to one of their stars. Guard Clay Thompson sprained his ankle in the 131-123 win over the Pacers, which extended their NBA record start to a season to 23-0. X-rays on the ankle were negative. Thompson told ESPN's Mark Stein he hopes to be able to play Friday or Saturday. The San Francisco Board of Supervisors unanimously voted to support construction of a $1 billion, 18,500-seat Warriors arena in Mission Bay. But the matter likely now heads to the courts. A group made of UCSF donors and former bond members has said it will file a lawsuit to block the arena. Cavaliers expect to have Kyrie Irving and Yvonne Shumpert back in the lineup by Christmas Day, if not sooner. Irving's been recovering from knee surgery. Shumpert out with an injured wrist. If NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell is looking for football experts to serve on a new committee to study and recommend a rule proposal to better define a catch in the NFL, Des Bryant willing to serve. The Cowboys receiver, whose apparent catch in the NFC divisional game was reversed and ruled incomplete after a review, told USA Today Sports he needs to be invited. Now at Subway, you can get 50% more meat on any sub. And for a limited time, it's just 50 cents more on a 6-inch in celebration of our 50th anniversary. Make your sub deluxe and we'll load up your favorite, like the spicy Italian or turkey breast. Subway, eat fresh.
Don Levitar, the Cody Stugatz combination, though. I can't imagine. Well, yeah, you have no idea um, how I dread Tuesdays to have two Stugatzes in here. God bless you, Stugatz. You don't wander around the premises as segments are starting. I didn't know the segment was starting. Sue me. Stugatz. But you started taking your stroll, like, as the ridge point was yeah, playing. I didn't hear it because the, the, the things no. weren't in my ear. Right. But, the things that are under whose control? My personal assistant. Yeah, nobody is the answer. <laughs> this is the Dan Levatar Show with the Stugats on ESPN Radio. You'll explain this song choice to me in just a second. ESPN Radio is presented by Progressive Insurance. Customers who switch to Progressive save an average of $500. Call us quick today and find out if we can save you hundreds on your car insurance. Thanks to Tim Weckler for joining us in hour number one. Tom Haberstroh in a half hour. Robert Smith at 1230. All guests to be via the Subway Fresh Day Hotline. Explain yourself, my Brian. Brian Adams has a hell of a catalog. That. But I feel like the, the the music, the musical choices are a reflection of the host. And what you're doing is you're telling the you're telling the country that I enjoy this song, which I don't, by the way. You know, uh, this is a great power ballad. I actually did. I love everyone it. loves this song. Yeah, everyone loves some Brian Adams. Yeah. Not everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like Brian Adams? No, particularly no. Never seen him in concert. Don't own any of his. Music. Oh, he's coming in a couple weeks. It's a good song though. Like he digs down deep here in a second. He does. He digs down deep. He does. He digs down deep. Right there. Good song. It's good. But why were you going to? But why were you going to the Brian Adams catalog? Yeah, I was just searching through the library. I was like, I want to hear that. That's how I pick music. Okay. Basically. All right. <laughs> You control those things on this show. You like music. You're more passionate about music than you are sports. By far. Way more close. Yeah, right? right? More, way more. Like, if I told you, you could go, what's your favorite group? Your favorite band? My favorite musical artist is Jack White. If I told you I was going to send you out to, like, uh, to Golden State Christmas Day, and Golden State's undefeated, you could watch Golden State play the Cavaliers, or I'll send you to a Jack White concert. Not even close, right? Not remotely close. Not even worth considering Jack White concert. Really? Yeah, any concert, really. Yeah, any concert. You choose any concert over those? Well, like, if I like the, the, the act, I choose any live concert over any live sporting event. Right. Unless it's like my team. Like, I really love the Miami Heat. If they were like a game, like they could win the title or they're playing LeBron, then I'd be like, okay, maybe if I'm, a, if I'm really emotionally <laughs> invested. Well, if I had the Heat in a, in a game seven for an NBA championship and I told you, Mike, you can go there, go to a Jack White concert, where you go? Well, it depends. Like, if it's a run of the mill thing, or if you tell me, I guess the real thing is, oh, you could like see a private concert with Jack White. I'd probably see the private concert with right. Jack White. Okay, that's fine. I'd miss the game entirely. There's only one band I think that would take me away from seeing one of my favorite teams win a championship or attempt to win a championship, and it's the Grateful Dead. For me, that's the only <laughs> band. Maybe Pearl Jam. Maybe Pearl Jam, but probably not. Anything for you? Is the Grateful Dead on their fourth or fifth final tour yet? Uh, well, no, now they've... It's they've, Dead and Company, right? With, uh, company. John Mayer? Yeah, they did the Chicago shows, which I went to, right. and uh, I came back, and I was haggard, and these guys made fun of me. I think Mike dressed me up in a garbage bag the day I came back, because I had slept <laughs> in three days. It was an awful day. Um, so now what they've done, Phil Lesh, the bassist, no longer wants to be a part of it, doesn't want to travel, doesn't want to tour, so they've replaced... So, so John Mayer. It was Trey Anastasio from Fish. He was doing right. it, and so now John Mayer's doing it with Bob Weir. Now, did Deadheads buy John Mayer in that role? Yes. Really? I mean, there's always hardcore deadheads who are like, hey, I ain't going to go see a show unless it's Jerry, Bob Weir, and Phil Lesh, which obviously it hasn't been in some time because Jerry passed away. So there are some hardcore deadheads that will do that. But I'm a hardcore deadhead. I've been over to a, I, I've been to over 100 dead shows. I went to those Chicago shows with Trey. They were fantastic. And I plan on going to a couple of shows with John Mayer because I heard he's great. Yeah, I recall reading an article that said Mayer only recently got into the Grateful Dead, but he was he wasn't this lifelong fan and right. just picked up all their tunes and, and just became a huge fan fairly recently. And now he's touring with them. He was at the uh, Chicago shows. He was there. He was there with Katy Perry, as a matter of fact. Ah, it's a gossip item because I thought they were Splitsville. Right. Well, they were at the Chicago. Bill Walton was obviously there. There were a lot of celebrities there. You thought they were Splitsville? <laughs> Did you see the, the photo of the poor guy that was sitting behind Bill Walton and Phil Jackson at MSG? <laughs> yeah, it's yes. like a worse season. <laughs> giant people. <laughs> I want to do some sort of poll question. What's the poll question with Splitsville? You really want Splitsville there? <laughs> they were on the rocks. <laughs> Greg, 
right, so there was a uh, obviously a lot of discussion yesterday. And again, Tom Havers at eleven thirty, and uh, and Robert Smith at twelve thirty for some college football. I know you want to discuss the uh, the college football playoffs, and we will. And reminder: nine minutes from now, I tell you why should Phil O'Neill's a liar. But there was a lot of talk about this New York Times op-ed piece. Uh, yesterday, the Aid Canal started tweeting about it. Football is under attack, for real. Uh, Levitard responded. And now I only heard a very small portion of Rosillo and Canal yesterday. And Danny was given stats, you know, suicide stats for NFL players as opposed to general population and how those, you know, lesser percentage of football players are taking their own lives than, and it was a sample of 35. That's all I heard. So I don't know if they got into what I'm about to discuss. Through all the yelling and screaming, I think what happened was we lost sight of what that op-ed piece was actually about. And it wasn't about adults. Because at this point, Greg, adults know the risks of playing football. If you don't know them, it's on you. It's not on anyone else. Like, if you don't know them, that's on you. Uh, and if you're an adult knowing the risks and you choose to play football, then that's fine. I'm totally fine with that. And I'm going to watch you, and I'm going to cheer for you, and I'm going to boo you, and I'm going to pray for you, to be quite honest with you. Um, and I'm guilty, because like the players, I know what I'm watching. I know it's not good. I make a living off of it, in part. I make a living off of something that I know is not good. I know this isn't healthy for those guys. But this is about whether or not we should let our kids play football. That's what the op-ed piece was about. Whether or not we should allow our kids to not just play football, but any sport that causes head trauma. And I think we all lost sight of that. That's what it's about. And in the piece, he said, listen, once we learn the dangers of smoking, we put things in place to prevent people from smoking. And I think he makes some really great points. And there are certainly many points to be made on the other side as to why kids should be able to play football. But I can speak of a father, as a father of two kids, daughters, 11 years old. Yeah, we shouldn't be allowing our kids to play football based off of what I read. And, and essentially what he is saying is they should start playing football at the age of 18, between 18 to 25, once their brains are fully developed, that we're doing damage to, to the youth's brain. And I wouldn't allow my kids to play football. Now, people might say to me, hey, you have daughters. It's different. I don't care. I love my kids the same way you love your kids. I care about my kids the same way that you care about your kids. I do not care. Daughter, son, it doesn't matter. You wouldn't hand your son a pack of cigarettes, but you're going to allow him to play football. I don't get it. Yeah, I have a tough time with that analogy. And, and, unless you're picturing um, you know, a six-year-old smoking a cigarette or drinking a bottle of scotch, I don't think the risk to a six-year-old uh, at the entree level of football playing like peewee flag football or something, I just don't think there's much of a risk when you're talking about two 45-year-old kids colliding. They're wearing helmets. Uh, all of the safety measures trickle down. If, if you're a peewee coach right now, coaching a bunch of six- and eight-year-olds, you, you're, you're teaching about concussions. Even at that age, you're, you're taking precautions. And as I mentioned earlier, um, the, the percentage of people who uh, get to the level where the real pounding is taking place, where the CTE happens. Those are at the college and pro level. You know, those are 1% uh, of all of the kids who are playing youth football. So I don't know that I, I agree with all the concerns, but I don't know that the risk of uh, a bunch of 60-year-old or, or 60-pound kids hitting each other is all that great. Yeah, but he's saying that there is reason for concern. He's not alone, by the way. Like, he's telling you. He is telling you. Actually, he is telling you that there is concern that this could harm them down the road. People and kids are dying playing football right now, as Dan said yesterday. Right. Now you can come at me and say, hey, kids are dying playing hockey. Kids are dying playing lacrosse. I played lacrosse in college. Right. I realize that. Um, I think, you know, as of five years ago, the percentage of lacrosse players that played and died was greater than actually football. Mm -hmm. Um... My daughter plays lacrosse. She does a women's lacrosse without a helmet, which I think there should be a helmet. Um, you can come at me and say, why are you just zoning in on football? 
No, I'm not just zoning in on football, and neither is this doctor, because the op-ed piece he wrote was not just about football. It was about any sport which causes head trauma, any sport. Well, in part of what Danny said yesterday on the show, he brings up that point about other things and sort of sensationalizing just football when there's other problems out there. I have audio. I'm going to hit it right now. It's the sensationalism of the comments that he makes. Kids are dying. You're right. There have been several, six or seven high school kids have been killed while playing football. That is nowhere this year alone, this year alone, and it's what they call a cluster. There have been more this year than there have been in years past. Typically, there are nowhere near that many deaths in one calendar year from the sport of football. But there are way more deaths of kids doing anything else. In the state of California alone in 2012, there were seven times more deaths from kids skateboarding than there were from playing football. But nobody can, but it's not a it's not a hot topic. Interesting. It is interesting, but again, I think CTE happens to guys who make a life of football, who play for 30 years from age six until the time they retire in, in the NFL. Guys who play high school football, who play college and pro football. Those are the ones who are at risk for CTE and, and lifelong trauma. I don't believe and, and haven't been shown the, the statistics that, that indicate that begins at the youth level where 98% of all the football is played. You know, most of those kids at the youth level, uh, pre-high school, they're not going on to college and, and the NFL. They're, they're playing football for a few years and then going on to something else, golf or tennis or what have you. Right. So I don't know that the risk of playing youth sport, youth football, if you don't continue it beyond high school and college, is, is that great? I may be wrong, but I haven't seen the statistics that pin the beginning of CTE to the youth level. It's uh, there's so many there's so many things you can do with stats and numbers, so you don't know. It's it's so hard to kind of kind of get through them because how many kids skateboarded last year in the United States? How many kids played football in the United States? Of the people who died skateboarding, how many were wearing helmets? How many weren't wearing right. helmets? And but, but my larger point is with this piece is he's not just specifically saying football, right? He's saying anything, any sport that involves, potentially involves head trauma is not something we should be allowing our kids to do. And I think the larger conversation is kids can't decide for themselves. The parents have to decide what the kids are going to do. Yes. Should we as parents be, should we as parents be putting our kids' health in jeopardy? Right. I don't know. I mean, but you can come back to me and say, hey, you put your kid on a plane, you're putting your kid's life in jeopardy. Mm -hmm. Your kid goes driving. Well, it just simply takes the car out. You're putting his or her life in jeopardy. It's, it's important to, mo uh, to note that other sports, like soccer, U.S. soccer, says outlaw uh, headers for yeah. children under the age of 11. They've seen the science, and they're making moves on the youth level. It's curious to see what the NFL does. What um, Obviously, they're teaching Heads Up program, right. um, which they have numbers that they say work. Um, but it'll be curious to see as the years move along, and you have a whole generation of parents like me. I don't want my child playing football. Maybe in high school we can have a conversation if, if they really want to, uh, but I don't want my kid playing youth football, and there's a whole generation of people like me now that have this science that the older generation, like Cody, like it's harder for them to wrap their brain around that because this is so new to them. Yes. I've grown up in this culture now. It's a, uh, it's a fascinating discussion. We'll continue it next, and I'll tell you why Shaq's a liar. You are listening to Dan, Snoop, and Cody on ESPN Radio. Hey, it's Flo, and this is my impression of a person having a phone conversation in the elevator. What? Yeah, no, I'm in the elevator. The elevator! Yeah! Anyway, I bundled our home and auto insurance through Progressive. No, bundled! We're gonna say big bucks now. No, bucks! Bucks! Bundle your home and auto through Progressive and save. Hello? Hello? She hung up. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates. Home insurance provided and serviced by other select insurers. Mike and Mike. Tomorrow morning at 6 Eastern on ESPN Radio and ESPN2. The biggest guests wake up with Mike and Mike. Kobe Bryant, what has this week been like for you? I wasn't sure what the reaction would be like. I got to say, man, so far, it's been amazing. The offseason is going to be whatever you want it to be. So for the rest of this season, does it change your approach to each game? Well, yeah, I'm absolutely hell bent on playing every single game. <laughs> <laughs> the farewell tour has begun, and congratulations, Kobe. We'll talk to you again soon. No, you got it, man. I appreciate you. Mike and Mike on ESPN Radio and ESPN2. Guys, when you buy your clothes at DXL, you look good. But you feel like a rock star. 
thing. So if you want to look and feel like a... You'll find all the brands you love, waist size 38 and up, all in one awesome store. DXL, you're looking good. Shop now for deals from 30 to 50% off. See DestinationXL.com for details. We're here outside a Metro PCS store, and it's amazing. Once people hear of the deal Metro PCS has to offer, they all say, I'm moving to Metro. I'm moving to Metro. I'm moving to Metro. And the reasons they're moving are many. I'm moving for a free 4G LTE smartphone from Samsung. I'm moving for the unlimited data, text, and talk for $30, period. I'm moving for the fast T-Mobile network. I'm here to move for all of that. <laughs> Make your move to Metro PCS right now, and you can get a free 4G LTE smartphone. Sales tax not included. Not just anyone, but a fantastic smartphone from great brands like Samsung and LG. Now that's what I'm talking about. A free 4G LTE smartphone, unlimited data, talk, and text for $30, period, on the fast nationwide T-Mobile network. That's Metro PCS, and that's why I'm moving to Metro. Hurry in. This offer only lasts for a limited time, only at Metro PCS. $30 plan includes first one gigabyte of data and up to LTE speeds. Phone price after instant rebate. One offer excludes numbers on the T-Mobile network. Coverage and service is not available everywhere. See store at MetroPCS.com for details and terms and conditions. Guys, wouldn't your wife or girlfriend love it if you treated her to the very best this Christmas? Well, you can, and you don't even have to go out of your way. We're talking about the world's softest pajamas, available exclusively at Pajamagram.com. That's Pajamagram.com. Created by a team of dedicated pajama experts, the world's softest pajamas are lighter than a cloud, softer than a bunny, like cashmere, only better. Talk about dreamy. She'll love the way the world's softest pajamas feel. You'll love the way they caress every curve. More than a gift, they're a feeling. An invitation to linger a little longer. The world's softest pajamas are available only at pajamagram.com. Visit today and give her a gift that keeps on giving to both of you. You don't even have to wrap. Every Pajamagram includes free gift packaging. Christmas delivery guaranteed. Call 1-800-GIVE-PJs or click the banner to visit Pajamagram.com. We've all been following College Game Day, and you know that the Chevy Silverado has been dependably getting the Game Day crew to Game Day each week this season, which is no surprise since Silverado is legendary for being dependable and long-lasting. High-strength steel construction, impressive efficiency, horsepower, and towing. No wonder Silverado 1500 was named highest-ranked large light-duty pickup in initial quality by J.D. Power in 2015. Visit Chevy.com to learn more. For J.D. Power award information, go to JDPower.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. Hey guys, we're halfway through the holiday season. It's time to get serious about your shopping. No worries, Sport Clips Haircuts Holiday Halftime Giveaway is here. Finish off your Santa list or splurge on yourself because Sport Clips is giving away $500 cash daily now through December 11th. Visit sportclips.com slash holiday to register for your chance to win. Sport Clips, it's good to be a guy, especially during the holidays. No purchase necessary ends 12-11, must be 18 or older, subject to official rules at sportclips.com slash holiday. Void were prohibited. B-Dubs presents B-Dubbing. All right. They're up by 21, but now's not the time to quit. Now's the time to buy a holiday gift card at Buffalo Wild Wings. They think they've beaten us, but yard by yard, we're going to purchase gift cards totaling $25 or more. And we will get a $5 blazing bonus for yourself. Who's with me? <laughs> now let's go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. Found at participating locations in New York, Florida, Rhode Island, and Canada for a limited time while supplies last. Limit four terms and conditions apply. Don Levitard. Stugatz is disgusting. Stugatz. Yep. This is the Don Levitard Show with the Stugatz on ESPN Radio. You can get in touch with the show anytime through the Internet Flowers Twitter feed at Levitard Show at Stugat790 at Greg Cody. Tom Haberstrow in about 10 minutes. We'll talk about the Warriors. What I want from Haberstrow is the three most, he's a numbers guy, Greg. I want the three most impressive team stats for the Golden State Warriors and the three most impressive individual stats of Steph Curry so far this season because there are some great ones out there. Oh, man. And Haberstrow's got all of them. 
Uh, Greg, can we at least agree on this? Can we at least agree on this? We don't have enough information either way on head trauma, on what it does to kids playing youth football. And in the absence of that information, because studies being done, and it depends on who you believe, and listen, certainly you're entitled to do with your kids what you want your kids. Okay? I'm not going to tell you how you parent your kids. I'm just telling you I wouldn't let my kids play football. But can we at least, can we at least agree on this point? In the absence of, of, of an absolute, of information, the unknown would keep you. Just the unknown. Just a very smart guy sitting here telling you it's not good. And several other people backing him up telling you, telling you it is not good for your kid to be playing football or any sport that causes head trauma. That alone would prevent me from allowing my kids to play. Can we agree on that? I don't have enough information. And the information that I do have scares me. Because if it's true, it's scary. By the way, my dad called me a whip. He said, you sound like a whip. He said, I allowed you to play youth football. You turned out just fine. I responded, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's fine. You sent me that text during the break. Right. Right. You played youth football. You played the garage. played all these sports. You turned out fine. Um, no, I did not. Sorry. Love you. But I didn't turn out fine. I, I mean, for, I'm old school and, and old in general. Maybe, maybe it's a generational thing. I, I, I think you can be overly cautious as a parent. You know, um, there's a million things you can do that maybe you shouldn't do if if you want to live a life of no risk. You know, ne don't go parasailing. Uh, you know, d don't do a million different things that, that you could do that, that have some sort of risk to it. In, in the case of football, ag again, uh, you know, I get that people who spend a lifetime playing football put themselves at risk. I'm not convinced yet that people, that kids who spend two or three years playing football as a youth until they get tired of it and move on, uh, they're the people with CTE in later life. But, I just don't see that. But there are famous neurologists that say that it's possibly even more detrimental. Yes. That it is flatly more detrimental on the youth level because the child's brain is still developing. Just even you, you don't even need a big concussion. Several small hits uh, to a child's skull, right? Rocking that child's brain is far more detrimental. There's a there's an article in uh, the Atlantic that says. America's most, dang most dangerous sport is peewee football. Yep, I read it. Very good article, by the way. Uh, parasailing, Greg, by the way, like, yeah, that's you're making a decision as an adult to do that. Right. And I'm okay with that. Hell, if I'm putting my kids on one of those boats doing that thing, there's no way. I did it in the Bahamas with my wife. The guys were smoking pot on the boat. They weren't paying attention to me and my wife, who almost crashed into a building. I'm not joking. Right. Into a high rise. Yeah. Like, I'm not putting my kids there. No, I, I get it. But you're allowed to play football. <laughs> you know, my, my grandmother used to say, you got to eat a peck of dirt before you die. And what that means is, <laughs> and it, this is a woman who would now be 120 years old, thing, but uh, what it means is you can you can do a lot right. and it won't harm you. Uh, you know, you, you don't have to live your life as if you're afraid of everything. And, and I just think that, look, I'm not underestimating the, the impact of CET uh, on pro and, and college football players and the risk they assume. Again, I don't see a great harm in kids playing youth football for a few years, not for a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, if you go on to play high school and college and the NFL, which is a small, tiny percentage of everyone, uh, then, yeah, you, you assume a risk. You are putting yourself at risk of, of lifelong problems. But whether that's going to happen from playing youth football for a few years, I'm not convinced. All right, we'll get back to this. Uh, Tom Haver show going to join us next. Shaq joined uh, Mike and Mike this morning. And Mike and Mike asked him, who's the greatest Laker of all time? Take a guess, Greg, at who Shaq picked for greatest Laker of all time. And this is why he's a liar. He's not a liar, but he lied to Mike and Mike this morning. Did he say Shaq? He did not. No, that would have been the correct answer. Me, I'm the greatest Laker ever. He did not say that. Take another guess. Um, well, I know what he said, so... Oh. Okay, well, that ruins it. You didn't have to admit that. You could have just, you know, guessed someone uh, else. Kareem, Magic, anyway, there's certain, certainly plenty of... Mike, you just ruined it, did you know? Yeah, but also, I'm glad he cut to the heart of it because it's pretty inefficient what you're doing anyways. Cody guessing. Yeah, it is. Well, Elgin Baylor, <laughs> Elgin Baylor would be the creative <laughs> guess. That, that's the off-the-grid guess. He picked, he picked the guy that he dislikes the most. The guy who ran him out of tap. Right. Kobe Bryant. Did you buy he, that? Did, no, not at all. Did he say it with a smirk on his face? Uh, I don't know. A little Shaq smirk. Is anyone buying that? Mike, you buying that? 
Can we give him credit for saying the right thing, though? The nice thing, being honorable, trying to no. squash the beef? No, he lied. Okay. Why? Did he lie? Yes or no? I don't think he truly believes that way. Roy, did he lie? Yes or no? Yes, he lied. Back Chris, did he lie? Yes or no? No, he means it. What? Guillermo, did he lie? Yes or no? Yeah, he lied. Put it on the poll, please. At Lepitard Show on Twitter. Did Shaquille O'Neal lie to Mike and Mike this morning? Tom Habish show next. Oh, ho, ho, happy holidays from the Dan Levitar Show on ESPN Radio. Mike and Mike. Clay Helton now officially the head coach at USC. What was it like for you to be able to share that moment when your players surrounded you and the emotional way that they did? What was that moment like for you? It's one you never forget. It reminds you how important relationships are. College football lives here with Mike and Mike. I think Alabama is the best team in the country. Mm -hmm. If you put them on the field against anybody, I'll I would pick them. them. I would too. We take starting at 6 Eastern on ESPN Radio and ESPN2. Only Wendy's makes a deal feel like a meal. Introducing the new 4 for 4. 4 bucks for the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger with freshly cooked Applewood smoked bacon, 4 all white meat nuggets, and natural cut sea salt fries and drink. That's right, just 4 bucks for a Junior Bacon Cheeseburger, nuggets, fries, and a drink. That's one beefy, cheesy, sizzling, crispy, icy deal. Get more. Get 4 for 4. Now at Wendy's. Offer includes small fries and drink. Have participating Wendy's for limited time. Price may vary. Often not valid in Alaska and Hawaii. The Capital One Quicksilver Card presents the greatest college football plays, as told by Charles Barkley. Remember when those two teams for California were playing, and one team got the kickoff while the other team's band ran on the field, and then the first team scored? That was crazy. Somebody in the band should have just tackled the guy. That's what I would have done. I would have tackled him good. Brought to you by the Quicksilver Guard from Capital One, proud sponsors of the Capital One Orange Bowl, and fans of great plays no matter where they happen. Geico presents Strange Saving Stories. Astronomers detected an interstellar transmission. It stated, Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. The implications were staggering. Was the cosmos telling us we could all save hundreds on car insurance with Geico? Or did their radar merely pick up a signal from the nearby Rufus and Clyde's morning show? We may never know. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. The gift that keeps on giving is almost always just a metaphor. Open it once, gift over. But at TGI Fridays, we have the gift that actually does keep on giving. For just 10 bucks, get any endless app, like one of eight flavors of boneless wings, and we'll keep them coming over and over again. For a bit more, you can switch to another app. Loaded potato skins? Sure. Pants here pot stickers? Fine. You can even try them all. We don't care. We're just excited about giving and giving and then giving some more. Endless apps with endless choice are back at TGI Fridays. At participating restaurants for a limited time. While supplies last, other restrictions apply. What's better than all punk and everything? Everything you need on GoPhone from AT&T. It gives you unlimited talk, text, and data usage with the first 1.5 gigabytes at high speed. Plus, it's only 40 bucks a month after a $5 auto refill discount. AT&T, mobilizing your world. First payment is $45. $5 discount applied to monthly rate plan charge upon enrollment and auto refill. After first 1.5 gigabytes, get data speeds up to 128 kilobytes per second. Additional charges and restrictions apply. See store for details. Stu Gatz here for 1-800-Flowers. Love telling you about 1-800-Flowers. It is December. That means it's Dan's birthday. That means I need to get him his favorite gift. And what's his favorite gift? Of course, flowers from 1-800-Flowers.com. The only way I send flowers. They are the best. I love them. And 1-800-Flowers is giving our listeners a great limited time offer. Order a beautiful full bouquet of 18 red and white peppermint roses plus a vase for just $29.99. That's an awesome deal. The perfect gift to send this season. You know what? It is the holiday season. Show someone in your life how much they mean to you, how much you care about them. The only way to do it is to go to 1-800-Flowers and get this incredible offer. Again, a full bouquet of 18 red and white peppermint roses plus a vase for just $29.99. And you'll save $20, but only when you use Dan's name to order. It's a great deal. It's only available for a limited time while supplies last. Go to 1-800-Flowers.com. Click on the radio microphone in the upper right-hand corner and enter Dan. That's 1-800-Flowers.com. Enter Dan. This is ESPN Radio. Are you tired of commuting to a job that makes someone else rich? Working harder than ever, but getting nowhere? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare? Having someone else raise your children? 
With our opportunities, you can start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss, work from home, and live a happier life. At Be The Boss Network, you'll find hundreds of work from home opportunities that you can literally start today and be earning money as soon as next week. Go to freedom105.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss. Get out of the rat race. Work from home. Go to freedom105.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 105.com. Go to freedom105.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You be the boss. Go to freedom105.com. ESPN Radio Sports Center. I'm Christine Lisi, developing story. Warriors guard Clay Thompson told ESPN's Mark Stein he hopes to be able to play Friday against the Celtics or Saturday against the Bucks. Thompson scored 39 points before leaving the 131-123 win over the Pacers with a sprained ankle. X-rays were negative. Golden State is 23-0 on the season. Shouldn't be long before every player on the Cavaliers is healthy and available for the first time this season. The return of Kyrie Irving and Iman Shepard imminent. They are expected back by the Christmas Day showdown against the Warriors. If not sooner, both will accompany the team on the upcoming road trip through Orlando and Boston starting Friday night. Irving's been out recovering from knee surgery and injured wrist as sideline Schumpert. MLB's Chief Baseball Officer Joe Torrey said at the winter meetings, Major League Baseball will work to draft a rule change in conjunction with the Players Association to better protect middle infielders from getting hurt by base runners trying to prevent double play turns at second base. The focus on injuries at second renewed after a hard fly by the Dodgers. Case Utley broke the leg of Mets shortstop Ruben Tejada in the NLDS. Sports Center is brought to you by Blue Emu, the leading household name in muscle and joints. Experience the benefits of emu oil and try their new Blue Emu Maximum Arthritis Pain Relief Cream. Beat the pain. It works fast and you won't think. Don Levatar. Woo! Stugats. Boom! This is the Don Levatar Show with the Stugats on ESPN Radio. <laughs> ESPN Radio is presented by Progressive Insurance. Thanks to Legler for joining us earlier. Robert Smith going to join us in one hour. Tom Habershow going to join us in just a second here on the Subway Fresh Day Hotline to talk about the Golden, St- uh, Golden State Warriors who got up to 23-0 last night against the Pacers. They made the most impressive victory of the year. Uh, we consider where they were at, how Paul George is playing, how that team is playing, and the fact that at the half, the Pacers had 60, and the Warriors were still up by, I believe, 17 or 18 points. But now I'm getting it from everywhere. My dad called me a wimp. They sound like a wimp. I sound soft. Uh, Baselli is killing me now. He said, uh, don't let your kid ride a bike then, and we should wrap all our kids in bubble wrap. I mean, Baselli, man, I love that he listens to our show all the time, but he is just, uh, as Dan said, he has bolts in his neck, and he's, uh, he's a caveman. Yeah. He's becoming a chronic. Yeah, well, he is a chronic. He's been a chronic for years. I love him. Let's bring on uh, Tom Haverstrow now. Tom, was that the most imp- uh, impressive victory for the Warriors? Was it last night on the road against the Pacers and that team? Yeah, I was on a plane last night, and I saw the score. A halftime score was 78 to, uh, you know, like 54, whatever it was. I thought that was the final score, but that was halftime. The, the Golden State Warriors are a cheat code. I mean, they're, they're at this point, there's no real physics to what they're doing. We, we've never seen anything like this in the NBA. I mean, I know the, goal, the, the Chicago Bulls won 72 games, but the way that the Golden State Warriors are just demolishing everybody, uh, I can't remember any team playing this way. Not even the Miami Heat. Like, Miami Heat, when they went on their 27 game win streak, yeah. they weren't outscoring guys like this. Uh, and it's just demoralizing. We've got a guy like Clay Thompson who can hit 10 threes, and he's not even the best player on the team. Well, Tom, I was going to bring up the, the 95 96 Bulls who won 72 games. How does this Golden State team lose 10 times? How do they not break that record? You know, we, at ASPM, we have these uh, game prediction metrics uh, that basically say, 
know, what what is the probability of the Warriors going seventy two and, and ten? And, and it, at this point, it's about fifty percent. It's really hard for me to look at the schedule and circle nine days on the calendar or ten games on the calendar. They're going to lose. There's only two games on it, literally two games on the calendar on their schedule where they are not favorites. It's fifty one percent odds um, that the San Antonio Spurs at San Antonio will beat uh, the Golden State Warriors. So there's but there there are only two games out of eighty two that they're not favorites, which is insane to think about. So at this point. You know, they've, they've, they've played more minutes up by 15 points or more than they've been behind. So the, the, the norm is just that they're blowing everybody out, and they're never behind. It's just not fair. We were la- my, uh, Tom, we were laughing earlier. Mike brought up a great point where the Spurs at 18-4 are off to their best start in franchise history. It's a franchise that's won a ton of titles, and no one's talking about them. No one's talking about it. I mean, they, they just they set a franchise record for out for beating the Philadelphia 76ers the other night by 51 points. Right. And Tim Duncan wasn't playing, and no one cares. No one cares about the Spurs. That's how good the Golden State Warriors are. You know, the Spurs are off to their best point differential in their history, and no one cares. Kawhi Leonard might be, you know, in any other year the MVP, and no one cares because of Steph Curry. Steph Curry, I, I said it before, he's Tecmo Bojack. He's not there. He's broken the laws of basketball. Last year... He broke the record. He had 286 three-pointers. This year, he's on pace for 426. It's 50% more. It's like, it's like think about it. Babe Ruth hit 60 home runs. Imagine if he broke the record, and then he hit 90. That's what we're doing. This is what's happening here. Is Babe Ruth, if he broke the record in home runs at 60, and then hit 90 the next year. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm not- Tom, everybody says now that, um, that Steph Curry is the best player in the league. It isn't LeBron anymore. Uh, and, and that's said as if it's a fact. Is it a fact? I mean, is it quantifiable? Is it, are there analytics that say, yes, Steph Curry is now the best player in, in the game. It's no longer LeBron. Craig, it's not just LeBron. It's best player of all time. He's having an unbelievable season to the point where he's going to shatter at this pace. He's going to shatter the all-time PER record. So, Will Chamberlain in 1963 had a 31.8. Just to give you a number, 31.8, okay? Steph Curry's at 35. He's beating it by more than 10% right now. So, it's, it's head and shoulders, not just on LeBron, but any guy we've seen in the NBA. So, but, but this is what happens when you have a guy who can shoot 40, 50, 60% on 30-footers. Look, let's, let's Look at it from this way. He's shooting 75% on threes between 28 and 40 feet. 75%. But, but is that PER sustainable over 82 games, or is it akin to a baseball player batting 400 in June and you just know that he's not going to end up hitting 400? It's tough to say. I mean, every time we look at Steph Curry and say he's going to regress to the mean, but he doesn't. I mean, the more threes that he takes, the better shooting percentage he has. He's better in the second half of the NBA season than he is in the first half. He averages two points uh, per game more in the second half of the season than the first half. So, guys, as scary as this sounds, and I'm, I'm not trying to be sensational, I'm just saying this, this is what the numbers tell me. Right. He's not, he might not even be hitting his peak right now. This might be just a warm-up for the second half of the season. Unbelievable, man. Uh, Tom, you lo- obviously you love the numbers. You're a numbers guy. What's the single most impressive stat you've seen on the Warriors this season or Steph Curry, either team or player? What's the most impressive stat? I mean, I think it's the fact that he he's shooting 15 to 20 on those long distance shots. The rest of the NBA, when he pulls up across the half court, he pulls up from 30 feet. Most players in the NBA shoot 19% on those shots. He has made 15 out of 20, 75%. We don't know what to do with that. Like, do you tell him to shoot 23 pointers a game? When you're shooting that well, why not? Why not? And like, when other when other GMs or coaches, when you ask the question, what would what what do you do to game plan against Steph Curry? They just throw their hands up. There's there's nothing you can do, and there's no weakness. Like Shaq, you you could foul him. 
You can foul him, send him to the line, and he's a terrible free throw shooter. Except Curry, there's nothing you can do. There is no weakness. He's a great pass, a great handle, and a great shooter. And he, by the way, like top five in the field. So, Tom, you're saying he's, we're talking best player ever, and it's hard to dispute that based on the numbers that you're giving us. If they if they break the Bulls' win record and they win a second consecutive championship, are you ready to call them the best team ever, or are you already there with that? No, I'm not there with that because, you know, Clay Thompson sprayed his ankle left yesterday. Right. Uh, so we don't know if, you know, if health, if health is on their side like it was last year, yeah, I think we're talking best team ever. If they win the title and they do this, I mean, remember, that 96 Bulls team, guys, they did it in an expansion year. So the league was diluted to the point where, you know, every, there's two extra teams there that probably shouldn't be there. And, and so they were playing against, you know, weaker foes. This, this, this NBA is different, and it's a lot more sophisticated defenses and still Steph Curry is playing the ball. You think they get to Christmas Day, which every single person at this network is praying that they remain undefeated? Do you think they get to Christmas Day, the Cavaliers, and they're still undefeated? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, at this point, there's not, they, they go back home. That their schedule is pretty easy up until that point. So, yeah, I think this is going to go to Christmas Day. And I remember before the season, like the first week of the season, you know, we were talking you know, 1% chance they get the thing uh, to Christmas Day. 1% chance. Right now, it's, it's, a, it's a likelihood. It is likely that they get to Christmas Day on the season. So it's crazy to say, but going 27-0 and 0 into Christmas Day, that's not even like a, a long shot. Right. It's, it's, it's incredible what we're talking about this right now, is that it's not even going out on a limb. The data is going to go into Christmas Day with a perfect record. It's insane. Um, uh, I'm obviously not laughing at you. I'm just laughing at it. It's amazing. Christmas Day, the team is still going to be undefeated in the NBA. It's, it's, just, it's just amazing. Tom, great stuff. We appreciate it, man. We'll talk to you soon. Hi again. All right, that is the, uh, the great Tom Hatterstrow. You check out his work on ESPN.com. We're back right now. Hey, stay tuned. More Dan and his crew hats on ESPN Radio. Geico. 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit Geico.com. Hey, it's Flo, and here's my impression of an emotionally resilient tall booth attendant. Hey, that's a nice boat you got there. Is that thing covered with the duck? Okay, you gotta go. Hey, look at you. Nice hug, fella. Looks like a twin. Oh, okay. Hey there. Where you headed, Tampa? You in a hurry? No big deal. Keep on keeping on. Oh, camping is fun. Save a big chunk of change on RV, boat, and motorcycle insurance with Progressive. This is Mike and Mike. Mike and Mike. How can offsides on a kickoff not be reviewable? You either ran over a line or you didn't. North Carolina didn't. They're down eight points and they recover an onside kick. They should have had a chance to go down there and try and tie the game. I believe Clemson is a better team, but North Carolina absolutely should have had that chance. And instead, they're in the Russell Athletic Bowl. Keep up with Mike and Mike on ESPN Radio and ESPN2. Guys, wouldn't your wife or girlfriend love it if you treated her to the very best this Christmas? Well, you can, and you don't even have to go out of your way. We're talking about the world's softest pajamas, available exclusively at pajamagram.com. That's pajamagram.com, created by a team of dedicated pajama experts. The world's softest pajamas are lighter than a cloud, softer than a bunny, like cashmere, only better. Talk about dreamy. She'll love the way the world's softest as pajamas feel, you'll love the way they caress every curve. More than a gift, they're a feeling, an invitation to linger a little longer. The world's softest pajamas are available only at pajamagram.com. Visit today and give her a gift that keeps on giving to both of you. You don't even have to wrap. Every pajamagram includes free gift packaging, Christmas delivery guaranteed. Call 1-800-GIVE-PJs or click the banner to visit pajamagram.com. We're here outside a Metro PCS store and it's amazing. Once people hear of the deal Metro PCS has to offer, they all say, I'm moving to Metro. I'm moving to Metro. I'm moving to Metro. And the reasons they're moving are many. I'm moving for a free 4G LTE smartphone from Samsung. I'm moving for the unlimited data, text, and talk for $30, period. I'm moving for the fast T-Mobile network. I'm here to move for all of that. <laughs> Make your move to Metro PCS right now and you can get a free 4G LTE smartphone. Sales tax not included. 
included. Not just anyone, but a fantastic smartphone from great brands like Samsung and LG. Now that's what I'm talking about. A free 4G LTE smartphone, unlimited data, talk, and text for $30, period. On the fast nationwide T-Mobile network. That's Metro PCS. And that's why I'm moving to Metro. Hurry in. This offer only lasts for a limited time. Only at Metro PCS. $30 plan includes first one gigabyte of data and up to LTE speeds. Phone price after instant rebate. One offer excludes numbers on the T-Mobile network. Coverage and service is not available everywhere. See store at MetroPCS.com for details and terms and conditions. Mike and Mike. Tomorrow morning at 6 Eastern on ESPN Radio and ESPN2. We've all been following College Game Day, and you know that the Chevy Silverado has been dependably getting the Game Day crew to Game Day each week this season, which is no surprise since Silverado is legendary for being dependable and long-lasting. High-strength steel construction, impressive efficiency, horsepower, and towing. No wonder Silverado 1500 was named highest-ranked large light-duty pickup in initial quality by J.D. Power in 2015. Visit Chevy.com to learn more. For J.D. Power award information, go to JDPower.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. The Capital One Quicksilver Card presents the greatest college football plays, as told by Charles Barkley. So the quarterback was on Boston School way back in the 80s. He's like five feet tall, and he's running around so he can see. He just shoves the ball downfield with no time left, and some other dude caught it for a touchdown, and they won. That was pretty cool. The greatest college football plays has been brought to you by the Quicksilver Card. Watch the Capital One Orange Bowl New Year's Eve to see the next great play Barkley and everyone else will be talking about. Only Wendy's makes a deal feel like a meal. Introducing the new 4 for 4. 4 bucks for the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger with freshly cooked Applewood smoked bacon, 4 all-white meat nuggets, and natural cut sea salt fries and drink. That's right, just 4 bucks for a Junior Bacon Cheeseburger, nuggets, fries, and a drink. That's one beefy, cheesy, sizzling, crispy, icy deal. Get more. Get 4 for 4. Now at Wendy's. Offer includes small fries and drink. I participate in Wendy's for limited time. Price and vendor. Often about in Alaska and Hawaii. The gift that keeps on giving is almost always just a metaphor. Open it once, gift over. But at TGI Fridays, we have the gift that actually does keep on giving. For just 10 bucks, get any endless app, like one of eight flavors of boneless wings, and we'll keep them coming over and over again. For a bit more, you can switch to another app. Loaded potato skins? Sure. Pan-seared pot stickers? Fine. You can even try them all. We don't care. We're just excited about giving and giving and then giving some more. Endless apps with endless choice are back at TGI Fridays. At participating restaurants for a limited time. While supplies last, other restrictions apply. Don Levitar, you don't care about loyalty, honor, trust. Those things are a punchline to you. <laughs> Still got Now, people are telling me that it's trending on Twitter. I have no idea how to check those things. Like, I don't know. So it might be trending That's on because Twitter. because you're, you're, you're not on Flick. That's why. Yeah. You are. This is the Don Levatar Show with the Stugats on ESPN Radio. <laughs> Robert Smith going to join us at 12.30. We'll talk some uh, college football, college football playoff with him. I'd be interested. Robert's a very smart guy, very bright guy, and a friend of ours, both myself and Dan. You're friendly with Robert, correct? Yep. Uh, I'd be interested to get his thoughts on the New York Times op-ed piece that we've been discussing for the last two days. Really, you know, really thanks to Danny Cannell. I mean, on a slow Tuesday and Wednesday, Cadell just created a story out of nowhere. That's how you do it, Cadell. That's how you do this media thing. I know Danny. I've known him for years. I've worked with Danny. I love Danny. That's how you do it. On a slow Tuesday or Wednesday, just pick a part of New York Times op-ed piece, and, and we'll fire away. Yeah, That's but, how you do it. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. What's interesting is that his father's uh, a doctor. Yeah. I wonder how that informs his opinion. Right. I mean, listen, there are a lot of people who are getting on Dan and getting on me for <laughs> our stances of, yeah, we wouldn't let our kids play football. Kids are dying playing football. We wouldn't let them do it. If you're an adult, it's fine. You can make that decision for yourself. It's fine. The same way you can decide if you want to smoke, the same way you can decide if you want to do drugs, the same way you can decide if you want to drink, you can make those decisions as an adult. What I'm uncomfortable with, and we'll move away from this in just a second, what I'm uncomfortable with is we're making choices on behalf of our kids that might not be in the best interest of our kids, and we don't have enough information. 
I'm not saying the doctor who wrote this New York Times op that piece is right, and I'm not saying the people who are challenging him are right. I don't know who's right. What I do know is there are enough people, whereas a father, there are enough people saying that head trauma for kids is awful, they shouldn't start playing football between the ages of 18 to 25. There are enough people saying that, that for me as a father, I would not allow my son to play the game. That's simple. And it's not just football. It's any sport that causes head trauma. And that's the part that disturbed me yesterday. We got away from two things yesterday. The screaming and the yelling, we got away from two things. One, that op-ed piece was not specifically about football. It was any sport which causes head trauma. And number two is, it wasn't about whether or not adults should be playing football. We all agree they should. They choose it. They want to play it. They want to take that risk. God bless them. I'll watch them. I'll cheer for them. I'll pull them. As I said earlier, I'll also pray for it. It's not about that. It's about kids. It's about whether or not kids should be playing football. That's what it's about. That's what his story's about. Should kids be playing football? And the answer for me, easily. The absence of, of, of information with a ton of doubt, my answer right now, until someone shows me otherwise, is no. Kids are not playing. That's simple. But did you hear what Danny Cannell said? If you just prevent kids from playing football? By banning the sport before you're 18, you're killing the sport. You're basically saying we shouldn't have football because there's no way the sport survives if you ban it from kids under 18. Okay. I mean, listen, I love it. I consume it. And I'm guilty as well. Because I now know, the same way I said, the adults, there's no way you can play football as an adult and not know the inherent risks of playing yes, football. There's no right. way. You can't make that claim anymore. It's impossible. And as a fan, as a consumer, I'm guilty as well. Because it's impossible for me to not know the risks of what these guys are doing on behalf of my entertainment every Saturday and Sunday. It's impossible. Of course I know. So I'm guilty as well, because I'm sitting here telling you I wouldn't let my kids play, but I'll consume it on Sunday. Right. As long as there are guys willing to play, I will consume it, I will love it, and I do love it. But if it goes away, it goes away. Like if it goes away, what are you going to do? Because it might go away. I think it was Malcolm Gladwell who said to us years ago, was it on the show we said it? He said that football will probably cease to exist in our lifetime. And I laughed at him. I said, get out of here. There's too much money being made. But great, there's a chance where football might go away. Well, if it does, it needs to go away after uh, MMA, where where you're allowed to kick someone in the head, in, in a mostly unprotected head. I mean, there are more violent uh, sports we see. But the op-ed piece says no MMA, no boxing, no football, no soccer, none of it. He's yeah. not just, that's, that's the thing, Greg. He's not specifically citing football. He's saying any of these sports that cause that cause head trauma. You also don't see youth level MMA. Correct. Where you're knocking kids right. out. Yes. I mean, that's what that's what a knockout is in MMA. It's head trauma. Right. It's a concussion. It, it, it's, it's hurting your brain. Right. You don't see that at the youth level. You see it, and he's not saying outlawed completely. Outlawed for underdeveloped brains. Right. And we're still growing. It, it, listen, I, I, no one's more shocked that I read the entire thing than I am. But it was short. And thank you for keeping it short. But it's about the neurons in your head. So you lose them as a kid, and they don't reproduce, Greg. Right? Once they're gone, they're gone. Right. I, I wonder if there's enough gray area here where um, somebody who feels like you do um, cannot look down on a parent who allows his son to play youth football. I would and, and vice versa. I would not look down. Because as I said, there's not enough information either way. Right. It's it's just a personal choice. If you decide as a parent that you wouldn't let your kid play football, obviously that's the side I'm on, and I agree with you. And if you're a parent that decides to let your kid play football, I'm not going to yell and scream again. Your kid. Yep. I'm not going to tell you how to parent your kid. Do what do what you want with your kid. Um, it's not what I would do, right. but there's no, there's not enough information on either side for me to say this with any sort of conviction. I'm just telling you the feeling that I have, the absence of all that information is, yeah, I'm not going to let my kid play. It's just not going to happen. We'll talk to Robert Smith next hour. Get his thoughts on this. It's Papi. You are listening to the Dan Levatar Show on ESPN Radio. This is your game. Well away. 30 foot Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. The NBA is on ESPN Radio. It's the home stretch of the holiday season, and you've put off holiday shopping for long enough. And you don't want to push your way through a packed mall just to dig through already picked over clothing. 
Avoid that hassle and go to jackthreads.com. They've already done the hard work to scour the globe for the best brands on the planet. Plus, develop their own line of core essential clothing every guy needs. Within minutes, you can find gifts for all the guys in your life or simply stock up for yourself. They've got 100% cashmere sweaters at low cotton sweater prices. Jackets so versatile, you can dress them up or down. And basics every guy needs, like tees and button downs. You can get it all from Jack Threads and never have to leave your house. And to make this even more of a no-brainer, here's something extra special to help you give the gift of style. Go to jackthreads.com and use code CLASSIC at checkout for an additional 20% off your first purchase. That's jackthreads.com, code CLASSIC at checkout for an extra 20% off your first purchase. Some restrictions apply. Jack Threads. Style smart. B-Dubs presents B-Dubbing. All right. They're up by 21, but now's not the time to quit. Now's the time to buy a holiday gift card at Buffalo Wild Wings. They think they've beaten us, but yard by yard, we're going to purchase gift cards totaling $25 or more. And we will get a $5 blazing bonus for yourself. Who's with me? Yeah! Now let's go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. Found at participating locations in New York, Florida, Rhode Island, and Canada for a limited time while supplies last. Limit four terms and conditions apply. Do God's here for 1-800-Flowers. Love telling you about 1-800-Flowers. It is December. That means it's Dan's birthday. That means I need to get him his favorite gift. And what's his favorite gift? Of course, flowers from 1-800-Flowers.com. The only way I send flowers. They are the best. I love them. And 1-800-Flowers is giving our listeners a great limited time offer. Order a beautiful full bouquet of 18 red and white peppermint roses plus a vase for just $29.99. That's an awesome deal. The perfect gift to send this season. You know what? It is the holiday season. Show someone in your life how much they mean to you, how much you care about them. The only way to do it is to go to 1-800-Flowers and get this incredible offer. Again, a full bouquet of 18 red and white peppermint roses plus a vase for just $29.99. And you'll save $20, but only when you use Dan's name to order. It's a great deal. It's only available for a limited time while supplies last. Go to 1-800-Flowers.com, click on the radio microphone in the upper right-hand corner, and enter Dan. That's 1-800-Flowers.com. Enter Dan. What's better than all punk and everything? Everything you need on GoBomb from AT&T. It gives you unlimited talk, text, and data usage with the first 1.5 gigabytes at high speed. Plus, it's only 40 bucks a month after a $5 auto refill discount. AT&T, mobilizing your world. First payment is $45. $5 discount applied to monthly rate plan charge upon enrollment and auto refill after first 1.5 gigabytes. Get data speeds up to 128 kilobytes per second. Additional charges and restrictions apply. See store for details. <laughs> Geico presents Strange Saving Stories. Astronomers detected an interstellar transmission. It stated, Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. The implications were staggering. Was the cosmos telling us we could all save hundreds on car insurance with Geico? Or did their radar merely pick up a signal from the nearby Rufus and Clyde's morning show? We may never know. <laughs> Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Are you working harder than ever at your job, but find yourself getting nowhere? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare, having someone else raise your children? With our free information, you can lead a happier life, work from home, and start earning money as soon as next week. I was a, a traditional business owner, and our business was affected greatly by the economy, so we were looking for another income stream that allowed me to actually walk away from a 16-year career and part owner in a traditional business just after eight months. Go to freedom105.com, get out of the rat race, work from home, and start earning great money as soon as next week. I'm a single mom. Before this business, I was over $90,000 in credit card debt alone. And now we go to Disneyland, Disney World. We've been on vacation to Hawaii. I never could have done that before this business. Go to freedom105.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 105.com. Freedom105.com and start earning great money as soon as next week. An ESPN Radio Extra Point with Dan Levitard. This isn't a war on football. To not acknowledge this stuff is to literally ignore the screaming of the employees. Yep, I'm guilty of it. Like, listen, I love it. I know what I'm watching is wrong, but I'm still going to watch it, and I love it as long as guys are willing to play and put themselves through that. It's back. not a war on football, though. Once you get into brain trauma and suicide notes and guys shooting themselves in the chest and leaving notes behind, please study my brain. My brain is not right. right. It's not a war on football. 
that's an area where all of this needs to be examined. I mean, when you've got this concussion movie coming out starring Will Smith, what's the war on football? It's at a breaking point, and you either ignore it or you address it. Kids are dying. What else do you want me to say? Like, that's a war on football? High school kids keep dying? <laughs> I'm Christine Lisi. Here's what you need to know. Eagles coach Chip Kelly said today they're taking a wait and see approach when it comes to running back Ryan Matthews' status Sunday against the Bills. He's missed the last three games with a concussion. Kelly asked by reporters on the meeting between owner Jeffrey Lurie and running back Marco Murray said there was no orchestrated meeting. Lurie just happened to be sitting next to Murray on the plane ride. And they had a conversation. Broncos quarterback Peyton Manning takes a big step in his return from a foot injury. Will throw outside today for the first time since his four interception game last month against the Chiefs. Still no timetable for his return. NBA Warriors guard Clay Thompson told ESPN's Mark Stein he hopes to be able to play Friday in Boston or Saturday in Milwaukee. He sprained his right ankle in the win over the Pacers. X-rays were negative. Both Kyrie Irving and Iman Shumpert nearing a return to the Cavaliers lineup. They both will accompany the team on its two-game road trip to Orlando and Boston starting Friday. Irving has been out recovering from knee surgery. He has not played this season. Jumpers out with an injured wrist. Show all your school spirit this holiday season with NCAA apparel at the ESPN Fan Shop, powered by Dick Sporting Goods. From jackets to jerseys and everything in between, you'll be the best fan this winter. Every season starts at Dick's. John Lippertard. I'm surrounded by people, I can, and I can't feel any more alone. You got to get the name wrong that he's reading directly from. That was a totally useless correction you were making there. Am I, I didn't need his name. Stugatz. Is there any kin to Bob Brzezinski? It's not Brzezinski! <laughs> you were too busy fiddling around with your prosthetic oh, nose to listen, <laughs> to listen to what he was reading incorrectly. Brown Sand. This is the Don Levatar Show with the Stugats on ESPN Radio. <laughs> ESPN Radio is presented by Progressive Insurance. Thanks to Tim Legler and Tom Haberstrom for joining us earlier. Robert Smith and a half hour on the Subway Fresh Take Hotline. I believe Dan will spend the, uh, the final segment of the show with us. Dan should be in at around 1245. What a fun show today, Greg. Thanks for sitting in. We appreciate it. Thank you. We were uh, we were laughing during the break. I want to get to Adrian Peterson and what's going on with him and the Minnesota Vikings. But you and I have been kind of laughing throughout the show um, about some of the things that we are uh, that are taking place as we ring in the new year and we celebrate the, the festive holiday season. And one of them for me is Donald uh, Donald Trump. Excuse me. He is uh, he's just tweeted out. I am signing copies of my book. Crippled America makes for a great holiday gift. That's what I want to do over the holidays, Donald. Read about how lousy our country is. Yeah, and, and, and the big movie opening on Christmas Day is Concussion. You know, whatever happened to the uplifting, happy Disney movie on Christmas, you know, the one that everybody wanted to go see. Right, Home Alone? Home Alone, you know, something like that. Uh, you know, the movie about, uh, you know, snowflakes and reindeer, and now you've got Concussion. What a down. Crippled America and Concussion. Right. <laughs> happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. <laughs> You can also see Krampus, which is a horror movie about a Christmas demon that ruins everything. What are we doing? At least it's Christmas related, though. Right. Was, was Die Hard a Christmas movie? Was it released on Christmas Day? Uh, Die Hard is one of the greatest Christmas movies ever. But it was released on Christmas Day around that time. Sure. I know it's. I know it's set around Christmas. The actual movie itself, the story. But I don't know if it came out then. Um, so crippled America and concussion. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's a summer blockbuster in July. July. Summer. Around right. a halfway point, like, uh, you know, six months till Christmas. You know, they do that Christmas in July. Then. Right. Well, hopefully I'll just sit home and watch Warriors, undefeated Warriors versus uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Yeah. Man, I'm looking forward to that. Right. Without crippled, by, without my crippled America book and no concussion movie. I'll see the concussion movie eventually. I mean, it, can't, it looks great. Fascinating. It does. You won't see it, right? Uh, you know, I probably will. Uh, 
but it doesn't sound like a movie that would be real entertaining. It sounds like a movie that would be thoughtful and maybe even important, but not entertaining. When's the last time you went to a movie theater, Greg? I tell the truth. I don't recall. I know I'm under oath, but I'm sorry, Your Honor, I do not recall. Really? Tell the truth. Hold on a second, because Mike, this is this is a line from the movie. This does not sound entertaining. This is from Will Smith. It doesn't sound entertaining. Tell the truth. I think we actually talked about this one. What's the last movie that you went to actually like paid a ticket and sat at a movie theater for Kevin Costner's Swing Boat? It might have been. Really? It might uh, have been. I, all right. I need not to a up. bad film. I'll look way. it up, Mike. I'll look up when Swing Boat came out. Not a bad film. I can't wait to get to the bottom. Is this the last time you went to the theater? Swing Boat? So. I'm not a big theater guy. 2008 is the last time you went to the movie Yo, theater. recently. <laughs> Good movie. I don't want to give away the ending. <laughs> you don't, huh? I don't remember the ending, that's why. <laughs> Do you remember the movie before that? Before Swing Boat? Wizard of Oz? I don't know. Greg, Adrian Peterson, what's happening there is interesting. And what I'm wondering here is how many other guys could get away with it. Adrian Peterson, for those who don't know, uh, after last week's game, he got the ball eight times. And he came out after the game. And he said, we were flatly out coached. And it's hard to dispute what he's saying when the coaches, his coaches, only gave him the ball eight times. Yeah. Best yeah. running back in the game. Right. Okay? He should get the ball more than eight times. So he came out and said, uh, said we were flatly out coached. And he was asked if he wanted to take that back yesterday. And he said, no. I stand by what I said. We're out coached. Well, we'll move on and try to win a game this week. It doesn't matter. Sometimes you get out coached. He said it. He didn't have to apologize. There hasn't been much of an uproar about it. The coaches don't seem to be upset with him about it. I'm not certain there are more than five players in the NFL that could say that same exact thing, that have enough cachet in their locker room, with their team, with their organization, with their coach. Right. And be able to get away with it. Yeah, you, I'm not even certain Brady would say that about Belichick. Oh, he wouldn't. No. Now, now Belichick might say it. Uh, you, you hear that from coaches a lot. After, right. after a loss, you'll hear a coach say, we got our play, we got our coach, top to bottom, we got this. And rarely do you hear a player say it, but particularly uh, to sort of throw his coach under the bus. Because you can say, we got our coach. You might be thinking, I mean the whole coaching staff, but really it falls on the head coach. And, and so that's a rarity, and, and you have to be someone uh, of an Adrian Peterson level or higher, uh, a Tom Brady, uh, to even get away with it. But it's unheard of. You, you well, rarely hear that. Well, I, I'm, I'm certain Brady has thought it. He would say that respect for Ballard, right? right? Yeah. But Brady could say it and get away with it. Oh, he could. Right. Yeah, he could. And, and in, in this case, you know, Zimmer obviously doesn't have the, the heft of resume that, uh, that some other coaches. And we know Aaron Rodgers. Say it. He's a guy who could say it. There'd be very little reaction, and people would probably agree with him. I agree with Adrian Peterson in this case. Um, there aren't many others, though. No. Like, I think we just named the three. Yeah. I don't think I could think of. Could Cam Newton say it? Because I think Cam Newton's probably a bigger star than his head coach. If Cam Newton comes out. Like, Cam Newton's great. If he comes out next week and says, yeah, we lost because we were out coached, like, see, you're shaking your head. No, no. it'll become a thing. The guy can barely have a touchdown celebration without becoming a national yeah. storyline. If he comes out, against the authority than all the stuff that's always underneath uh, rumbling, gurgling below this whole Cam Newton phenomenon starts coming out. And people will just not like Cam Newton again and use this as another ex excuse, really. Why did it not come out with Adrian? I mean, I know it's a story. It is a story. It's, it's one of the top headlines out there right because now. Honestly, I think it's because it's the Vikings. Boring, nondescript team. Yeah, who cares? Um, even though they're having a good year right now, no one's really paying attention uh, to them. It's not, a, it's, it's not a big story. Right. It, it's a little disingenuous to me that he says it after a game where he only carries eight times. But he's right. Yeah, but what he really means is, I needed the ball more. I, I think in this case, well, that's no, what he meant by... We needed better coaching. I needed the ball more. Plus, it, it's kind of also getting overshadowed by what DeMarco Murray did by right. having a meeting with Jeffrey Lurie and, right. and talking about uh, how upset he was within his role in the offense. But that changed a little bit, right? That changed a little bit. The reports on that because it seemed like he thundered it into, like, you know, a skybox. No, no, no. Oh. It, thought, it was on the team. Plane. It was on the team right. plane. Right. But, yeah, he also said that, and he didn't want it to become a story, but a player going directly to an owner 
uh, over going over the head of his head coach right. to talk about how frustrated he is in the offense. That's well, never a good luck. Well, Greg, when you lose 38-7 to to the Seahawks and the Pete Carroll, who was a good coach, a Super Bowl winning coach, um, what Adrian Peterson is saying is fairly obvious, right? And Mike Zimmer can't even dispute it. Yeah, we were outcoached. Yeah, and it was a home game, right? It was in Minnesota. Yeah, but also that that final score might be the reason why you're not getting carries. It's a blowout game. You got to throw. Right. That is- it was fourteen nothing at half, and then I think I think they were up twenty one nothing at one point. I mean, obviously the game got away from them, but Adrian Peterson should be touching the ball more than eight times, regardless of the scenario. Mike, what's the sound you were telling me with Mike Zimmer? Speaking of the Vikings, what happened? Well, it's been a bad week for Mike Zimmer. Yeah. Uh, we we mentioned the Adrian Peterson thing uh, too, but he's had uh, a bad week uh, off the field as well. Yeah, I did go home last night for a little bit, and I went to McDonald's on the way home because I was hungry and ordered two cheeseburgers, and I only got one. It's kind of weak it's been. You didn't play the Don't You Know Who I Am card at McDonald's? I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I got one. <laughs> That's funny. That's very funny. Thank God. This is over. All right, it's time to tell you about Dollar Shave Club, dollarshaveclub.com. I shaved, I finally shaved the beard off, they shaved my head, I shaved my beard off. I'm surprised I look so good, to be honest with you. I should say that. I'm surprised that so many people think that I look so good. My wife, Dollar Shave Club, taking care of business for me, you know what I'm saying? Dollarshaveclub.com delivers amazing razors to your door for a third of the price the Razor Corporation charge. They are Dr. Carter's Shea Butter, high-quality ingredients, leave your face soft and moisturized. It really does. It's fantastic. Such a great product. Such a great holiday gift. Use a fresh DSC blade and Dr. Carter's Shea Butter if you want the most gentle shave imaginable. You're going to love it, guys. I'm telling you, you're going to absolutely love it. And if you're looking for a great gift, give them the club. Dollar Shave Club's got super simple gift ideas for everyone. Get yours today at dollarshaveclub.com. That's dollarshaveclub.com. Oye, people, esto es el Dan Levatar Show on ESPN Radio. Hey, it's Flo, and this is my impression of someone calling into Sports Talk Radio. Yeah, this is Flo, longtime caller for Time On Air. I just wanted to say that I think it is absolute hogwash not to go out there and try Progressive's Name Your Prank Tool. You can see all your coverage options, and options are how you get rings, championship rings, and parades of rings. Finding options to fit your budget with the Name Your Price Tool, only at Progressive.com. You know, not for nothing, but my favorite rings have candy on them. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company. Price and coverage match limited by state law. This is your game. The NBA is on ESPN Radio. This is ESPN Radio. The gift that keeps on giving is almost always just a metaphor. Open it once, gift over. But at TGI Fridays, we have the gift that actually does keep on giving. For just 10 bucks, get any endless app, like one of eight flavors of boneless wings, and we'll keep them coming over and over again. For a bit more, you can switch to another app. Loaded potato skins? Sure. Band-seared popstickers? Fine. You can even try them all. We don't care. We're just excited about giving and giving and then giving some more. Endless apps with endless choice are back at TGI Fridays. At participating restaurants for a limited time. While supplies last, other restrictions apply. Guys, when you buy your clothes at DXL, you look good. But you feel like a rock star. So you want to look and feel like a... You'll find all the brands you love, waist size 38 and up, all in one awesome store. DXL, you're looking good. Shop now for deals from 30 to 50% off. See DestinationXL.com for details. We're here outside of Metro PCS store, and it's amazing. Once people hear of the deal Metro PCS has to offer, they all say, I'm moving to Metro. I'm moving to Metro. I'm moving to Metro. And the reasons they're moving are many. I'm moving for a free 4G LTE smartphone from Samsung. I'm moving for the unlimited data, text, and talk for $30, period. I'm moving for the fast T-Mobile network. I'm here to move for all of that. Make your move to Metro PCS right now, and you can get a free 4G LTE smartphone. Sales tax not included. 
not just anyone, but a fantastic smartphone from great brands like Samsung and LG. Now that's what I'm talking about. A free 4G LTE smartphone, unlimited data, talk, and text for $30, period, on the fast nationwide T-Mobile network. That's Metro PCS, and that's why I'm moving to Metro. Hurry in. This offer only lasts for a limited time, only at Metro PCS. $30 plan includes first one gigabyte of data and up to LTE speeds. Phone price after instant rebate. One offer excludes numbers on the T-Mobile network. Coverage and service is not available everywhere. See store at MetroPCS.com for details and terms and conditions. Only Wendy's makes a deal feel like a meal. Introducing the new 4 for 4. 4 bucks for the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger with freshly cooked Applewood smoked bacon, 4 all white meat nuggets, and natural cut sea salt fries and drink. That's right, just 4 bucks for a Junior Bacon Cheeseburger, nuggets, fries, and a drink. That's one beefy, cheesy, sizzling, crispy, icy deal. Get more. Get 4 for 4. Now at Wendy's. Offering for small fries and drink. Ever participate Wendy's for limited time. Price may vary. Often a ballot in Alaska and Hawaii. Guys, wouldn't your wife or girlfriend love it if you treated her to the very best this Christmas? Well, you can, and you don't even have to go out of your way. We're talking about the world's softest pajamas, available exclusively at pajamagram.com. That's pajamagram.com. Created by a team of dedicated pajama experts, the world's softest pajamas are lighter than a cloud, softer than a bunny, like cashmere, only better. Talk about dreamy. She'll love the way the world's softest as pajamas feel, you'll love the way they caress every curve. More than a gift, they're a feeling, an invitation to linger a little longer. The world's softest pajamas are available only at pajamagram.com. Visit today and give her a gift that keeps on giving to both of you. You don't even have to wrap. Every pajamagram includes free gift packaging, Christmas delivery guaranteed. Call 1-800-GIVE-PJs or click the banner to visit pajamagram.com. Don Nevatar. It's a little bit disingenuous of LeBron to not enter the slam dunk contest, but then make this annual show of proving how great he is at slam dunk. Disingenuous? Stu Gats. What's disingenuous about me? What's disingenuous? This is the Don Levitar show on ESPN Radio. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Dan Levitard Show live and on demand in the ESPN app. Choose from any of the three hours of the show, including our conversation with Tim Flegler in hour one, the Miami only hour that airs before the show or the best of podcasts. It's all available as a featured podcast in the listen tab of the ESPN app. Our thanks today to Tim Leckler and Tom Haberstroh for joining us. Robert Smith is going to join us in about 15 minutes. What's going on there? You having trouble with the equipment? I'm trying to be discreet, but apparently I'm not. You were eating a burger during the break. You said it was delicious. You can't get your headset back in. I haven't done this to you today. Like, Dan is not here today, and I've taken it easy on you because I know how it feels. Trust me, no one knows how you feel on Tuesdays more than I do. Okay? Well, you don't have your headsets in. Like, the ears are... Okay, you getting everything situated there? All good. All right, you ready to go? I'm ready, man. You ready to radio? Let's do it. <laughs> so Robert Smith going to join us at uh, at 12:30. It's been a uh, it's been a fun show today. Outside of talking about whether or not our kids should play football, that part not fun. Yeah. Uh, the thought of football going away, not fun. Um, the thought of keeping our kids safe is is something we should look into more. And people on the other side of it, they're just driving me crazy. I mean, this, listen, man, there are points to be made on both sides. The screaming and the yelling is absurd. It is. You know, it's the former football players calling Dan soft. To a lesser extent, they're calling me soft. Why can't we just have a conversation about it? I just have a, co- a logical conversation about it. It is our kids. That's who we're talking about. This is not about who's right and who's wrong. It's about our kids and our kids' health and whether or not we should be allowing our kids to play football. But there are guys whose name I'm not going to name that wants to call Dan names over his stance 
which is a totally practical and logical stand. You can disagree with it. That's fine. You want to let your kids play football? That's fine. But rather than name calling, rather than hey, I'm right, you're wrong, rather than former players coming up and saying you're soft, why don't we sit down and have a reasonable conversation <laughs> and do some research and discuss whether or not our kids should be doing damage to their brains? It's that simple. It's just really stubborn, and I don't understand. Like you know. The children's toys used to have lead-based paint on them, and we stopped. You know why we stopped doing that? Because the science developed, and we realized it was bad for people. It's not outside the realm of possibility that in 2015 we have new information and we're learning something new about us that we didn't know back in the 80s, back when you played high school football, and you're fine, I understand that. Right. But we can have a conversation. No one's judging you on your side. I'm not telling you you're a dope. If you want to let your kids play football, you take this at it, be a parent, that's on you. Right. But don't just name call somebody on the other side. I, this isn't much of a straw man either because it's the, the, the opposing side to the people that just hold up the science and say, hey guys, Maybe we shouldn't have kids doing this, but it just seems like a very angry thing. And I understand it kind of because you're ripping away those Sunday. Right. I want to be clear because it's not Danny Cannell. Danny Cannell, I've known Danny Cannell for years. He's a friend of mine, and he's, he's, he's a very nice and decent person, and he's one of the most reasonable people I've ever met. So it's not Danny Cannell who's doing the yelling at Danny. Okay, but there's just so much name calling at Levitt Farm based on what you said yesterday. Hey, get over yourselves. This story is not about you being right. Okay, irrelevant host, and you know your name. It's not about you being right. Okay, it is not about you being right. It's about whether or not our kids should be playing football. Just to get him away from Dallas. I want to say his name so badly, but I'm not going. The problem with this conversation is that it's extreme. It's, it's one side or the other. You know, when when I hear that oh, football is going to be done in in our lifetime. Isn't there a compromise there? Isn't there a way to save football but also make it safer? You know, that's where the conversation needs to go. Not that we should ban the sport for safety measures, but how to make it safer. And starting at the youth level, correct? I'm all for the conversation. Listen, if there's a way to make it safer for kids, because Mike's right, listen, the reality is if people don't start playing football until they're 18, football's done. Okay, the NFL's yeah. done. That's, that's, that's a counter-argument. If you start installing something in the youth level, right, that, it, that changes the way that we're used to seeing football, then you cut off the supply, and right. you eventually cut off the sport. Sure. But I'm all for I'm all for trying to figure out a way to make the, the game safer so our kids can play it, and so we can keep the NFL going. I'm all for that. That's what I want. I love the sport. I consume it. I love it. I love my fantasy football game. I, I can't get I'm involved in all one. Yeah, right. Yeah. I don't want it to go away. I just want it to be safer. Of course. I don't think that's too much to ask. It isn't. And, and it should be demanded. I mean, that's the starting point is that it should be safer. But you know, from helmet technology on, um, there are ways to make it safer. And we're even seeing it in the NFL. Just, right. I just don't know there is a way to make the sport safer. But I think the science, his point behind it, uh, Omalo's op-ed, it's basically the sport is unsafe. And you might as well not have an underdeveloped brain playing it um, up until a, a, a satisfiable age. But, Mike, that's what people are kind of losing with the, with the piece. I understand what you're saying. It's, he's not just saying this sport is unsafe. He's saying any sport that involves head trauma, boxing, MMA, soccer, hockey, all of it, lacrosse. We should be rethinking whether our kids should be playing this. Listen, to that. I mean, Taylor Twelman so convincing. I mean, it's powerful to hear him speak on concussions in soccer. And soccer he is uh, making inroads in that. And they're outlawing headers for children under the age of 11. Um, there's all sorts of studies on women's soccer because they don't have the same neck muscles. Like, at least people are paying attention to the data. I know football's whole weird culture is to be more macho, tough it out. But it's dangerous. And if there are parents out there that don't want their children playing it, I totally understand. Stand. Right, and on the other side, if you let your parents play it, I totally understand that too. There's not enough information. That's what I get. But in the absence of, of all this information, I take a lean right now with my kids towards not letting them play. Just because I don't know enough. Right? Now, I have girls that don't have boys, and I, I, I've already, you know, I, I, we, we talked about this earlier in the first hour, and I was on my, my timeline on my mentions, and people were saying they're trying to make it as well. You have girls, you don't have boys, you don't understand. No, I understand. Better. Girls, boys, doesn't matter. I care about and love my kids the same way you do. And I'm telling you, if I had boys, if they were boys, they wouldn't be playing football right now. That breaks my heart to say that because I played youth football. But right now, I might, my kids are more important than my needs. Like a lot, of, and that's the problem. A lot of these parents put these kids 
A lot of these parents, Greg, believe me, I see it. I coach my daughter's lacrosse team. It's like you're living vicariously through your daughter. You didn't achieve something in high school, and you want your kid to go out and achieve it for you. And that's just a ridiculous way to go about parenting. I'm sorry. Now I'm gonna go. Now I'm gonna castigate you for your parenting. Because if those are the reasons you're doing it, then there's a whole different issue, a whole separate set of issues that rise and discuss. Yeah, no, those aren't the reasons. But I'm telling you, there are plenty of parents who do that. Oh, there are. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you parents and youth coaches have a, a bad reputation. Right. Robert Smith could have called us off. What do you think, Mike? He's a pretty level-headed guy. He's also a former NFL guy. It's hard for it's hard for a lot of former NFL guys to hear this. It'll be an, an interesting perspective. We'll hear from Robert Smith. Hey, buddy. You're listening to the Dilemma Party Show on ESPN Radio. Mike and Mike. Clay Helton now officially the head coach at USC. What was it like for you to be able to share that moment when your players surrounded you and the emotional way that they did? What was that moment like for you? This one you'll never forget. It reminds you how important relationships are. College football lives here with Mike and Mike. I think Alabama is the best team in the country. Mm -hmm. If you put them on the field against anybody, I, I would take them. I would too. We get starting at 6 Eastern on ESPN Radio and ESPN2. You got here for 1-800-Flowers. Love telling you about 1-800-Flowers. It is December. That means it's Dan's birthday. That means I need to get him his favorite gift. And what's his favorite gift? Of course, flowers from 1-800-Flowers.com. The only way I send flowers. They are the best. I love them. And 1-800-Flowers is giving our listeners a great limited time offer. Order a beautiful full bouquet of 18 red and white peppermint roses plus a vase for just $29.99. That's an awesome deal. The perfect gift to send this season. You know what? It is the holiday season. Show someone in your life how much they mean to you, how much you care about them. The only way to do it is to go to 1-800-Flowers and get this incredible offer. Again, a full bouquet of 18 red and white peppermint roses plus a vase for just $29.99. And you'll save $20, but only when you use Dan's name to order. It's a great deal. It's only available for a limited time while supplies last. Go to 1-800-Flowers.com, click on the radio microphone in the upper right-hand corner and enter Dan. That's 1-800-Flowers.com. Enter Dan. Geico presents Strange Saving Stories. Astronomers detected an interstellar transmission. It stated, Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. The implications were staggering. Was the cosmos telling us we could all save hundreds on car insurance with Geico? Or did their radar merely pick up a signal from the nearby Rufus and Clyde's morning show? We may never know. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. The Capital One Quicksilver Card presents the greatest college football plays, as told by Charles Barkley. Remember when those two teams from California were playing, and one team got the kickoff while the other team's band ran on the field, and then the first team scored? That was crazy. Somebody in the band should have just tackled the guy. That's what I would have done. I would have tackled him good. Brought to you by the Quicksilver Guard from Capital One. Proud sponsors of the Capital One Orange Bowl and fans of great plays no matter where they happen. We've all been following college game day, and you know that the Chevy Silverado has been dependably getting the game day crew to game day each week this season, which is no surprise since Silverado is legendary for being dependable and long-lasting. High-strength steel construction, impressive efficiency, horsepower, and towing. No wonder Silverado 1500 was named highest-ranked large light-duty pickup in initial quality by J.D. Power in 2015. Visit Chevy.com to learn more. For J.D. Power award information, go to JDPower.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. What's better than all punk and everything? Everything you need on GoFarm from AT&T. It gives you unlimited talk, text, and data usage with the first 1.5 gigabytes at high speed. Plus, it's only 40 bucks a month after a $5 auto refill discount. AT&T, mobilizing your world. First payment is $45. $5 discount applied to monthly rate plan charge upon enrollment and auto refill. After first 1.5 gigabytes, get data speeds up to 128 kilobytes per second. Additional charges and restrictions apply. See store for details. <laughs> Wherever you are, we are. Your radio, your phone, your computer. This is ESPN Radio.
Are you tired of commuting to a job that makes someone else rich? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare with your children being raised by someone else? With our free information, you can lead a less stressful life, work from home, and start earning money as soon as next week. I was about to be laid off from a company that was going bankrupt. On top of that, I wanted my kids to have mommy care, not daycare. My first month, I made $1,000 part-time. After 90 days, I was home with my children, and for the past seven years, I've been here for my three little girls. I love this business. Go to freedom105.com, get out of the rat race, and start earning great money as soon as next week. I was skeptical. However, I had to get out of corporate America. Both me and my wife were able to quit our jobs and now make over $10,000 a month from home. Go to freedom105.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 105.com. Freedom105.com and start earning great money as soon as next week. This is your game. The NBA is on ESPN Radio. ESPN Radio Sports. I'm Christine Lacey right now. A pretty lofty comparison made today by Patriots coach Bill Belichick at the news conference when discussing Texan star defensive end J.J. Watt in Sunday's matchup versus Houston. Belichick said he sees a lot of the same traits in Watt as Hall of Famer Lawrence Taylor. Belichick, of course, the linebackers coach and defensive coach with the Giants in the first 10 years of Taylor's career in New York. And he compared Watts to that Hall of Famer. Watts got two Defensive Player of the Year awards, three Pro Bowl and All-Pro selections in the first four years of his NFL career. The status of Eagles running back Ryan Matthews uncertain Sunday against the Bills. He's been out the last three games with a concussion. Baseball, Mariners acquired first baseman Adam Lynn from the Brewers for three pitching prospects. NBA Warriors guard Clay Thompson dealing with a sprained ankle told ESPN's Mark Stein he hopes to be able to play Friday night against the Celtics or Saturday against the Bucks. Cavaliers Kyrie Irving and Iman Shumpert expected to return to the lineup by Christmas Day, if not sooner. Irving's been out all season long after knee surgery. Shumpert sidelined by an injured wrist. It's time to up your fan game with the new Star Wars The Force Awakens collectible cups. Available only at Subway. Enjoy your drink with one of six limited edition cups. Then see the movie in theaters this December. At Subway, the fans are strong here. Don Nevertard. I just don't want to think when I think about sports. I just want to enjoy them. I want to watch them for what they am. Pure entertainment. That's it. That's all it is to me. Two guts. You just said for what they am? Uh, I think I did. <laughs> We'll hear that in the series next year. This is the Don Levatar Show with the two cats on ESPN Radio. <laughs> ESPN Radio is presented by Progressive Insurance. Our thanks to Tim Legler and Tom Haberstroh for joining us. Levitor will spend the final segment with us. Robert Smith is going to join us now. He's an expert on college football, so we'll ask him about college football. It is brought to you by Napa Auto Parts, the quality parts and the knowledgeable service you need to conquer the job. That's Napa Know How. Robert joins us via the Subway Fresh Take Hotline. Good afternoon, Robert Smith. How are you? Good morning here, but good afternoon to you. Okay, sorry about that. I mean, you had to throw that in there? I mean, it's close enough to the afternoon, isn't it, Rob? <laughs> it's afternoon somewhere always. <laughs> Rob, what do you make of the uh, the whole discussion before we get to uh, college football and some stuff with Adrian Peterson as well? What do you make of the whole discussion, the New York Times op-ed piece, Danny Cannell's thoughts on it, Levitard's thoughts on it, everyone now going back and forth arguing. Uh, what do you make of all this? Should our kids be playing football, Rob? Yeah, I think, I think it's okay for kids to play football. You know, you're talking about small, smaller children that, you know, aren't going to create as much force. I think you should wait. You know, the, the, the research seems, there seems to be a consensus around about age 13 before they start playing tackle football. So I haven't, you know, I'm, I'm a number of years away from making that decision with my son of 10 years. Right. Um, and, and there'll be a lot more science between now and then that's going to come out, a lot more research. 
a lot more evidence, uh, but I think 13 is probably appropriate for tackle football. Robert, um, when you look at what's happened in Minnesota this week with Adrian Peterson um, sort of saying that we got out of coach. Um, Not sort of saying, saying we got out Yeah, he did. He did. He said it. Uh, is, is that something that as a former player that, that you could ever envision having said, or, or is that something that players are thinking all the time but rarely say it? Players are thinking it, but it's something that you never say. You know, the, the thing that Penny used to always tell us in the locker room was, don't be the guy. Uh, you know, you saw a couple of weeks ago with Ezekiel Elliott coming out and talking about play calling, and you just had nothing to gain. You have absolutely nothing to gain by saying things like that, and you may feel that way, but it's something appropriate to say to the coaching staff and maybe in the locker room, but you never say it to the media. Who's the guy that you play with that would be most likely to say it? I'm all in with John Randall or Randy Moss. Huh. No, I mean, neither one of those guys really were that guy. Um, I don't, I don't think that they would be scared to say it. Right. Uh, you know, maybe Randy more than Johnny, but, uh, you know, I, I think for the most part, the guys that were in our locker room understood because the messaging was coming from the top. And so if that message is being delivered by the head man, most guys aren't likely to do it. Robert, when you look at this, uh, college football playoff final four, it, it seems strange to me. You've got, um, number one Clemson, an underdog to the number four seed. Uh, how should these four teams be seeded, uh, one through four, do you think? Well, I think the seeding is fine. Uh, you know, Michigan State jumped over Oklahoma, I think, because of, because of what they view as the resume. Now, I think Oklahoma is a better team, but I think that they were judging partially by resume. Um, I think, you know, that, that matchup is going to be interesting, but I, I like Clemson in the matchup. I think they're more consistent offensively. They got a young offensive line that really grew up this year. They had to replace four guys along that line, four or five. Uh, and, and I think that when you look at Deshaun Watson, especially at the end of the season, he got so much more comfortable recovering from the ACL. He's more dangerous to me even than Baker Mayfield. Uh, and as far as defensively, yeah, I, I, I think they're, I think they're both going to have trouble stopping the opposing offenses. Uh, but, but, I, but I think, uh, Clemson wins that game. Rob, here's the problem I have with how we're doing it now, and certainly it's better than the BCS, although I would say a mixture of the BCS, the computers um, combined with the playoff is probably, for me, the, the, the best scenario. But I'm not certain that the Fiesta Bowl or the Rose Bowl, for that matter, are better games than the two games we have in the Final Four. I'm still convinced that Ohio State is the best team in the country. I'm not saying that because you're on the phone and I'm sucking up to you. I really think they are the best team in the country. And I think Vegas would favor them over any of the four teams remaining they need to expand this thing out. I mean, it is just that simple. They need to expand it out to six, maybe eight. They need to do something because the best team in the country, the best team that I've seen this year, and maybe the two best teams, Notre Dame, very good as well, they're not playing for a national championship, and that's a problem. Well, a problem, I mean, it's, it's, it's part of the system the way that it is. I don't think that that's a, an indictment of the system that we have right now. I, I think you, know, you can certainly uh, look at expansion, but it, it has its own problems. You're talking about adding another game, and, and you know, we had this discussion last week with Mac. I mean, Mac Brown. And I think the thing that you would have to consider is when do you play that quarterfinal round? And do you play it the week before Christmas? Do you do, a, do you do a home game for one of the teams? I mean, it's, it's more logistical type issues. And then do you ask teams to play an extra game, or do you try and get rid of a game earlier in the year? And no matter what system we come up with, uh, it's going to take a number of years. So I think at, at least another five or six years we're going to have with this system. Yeah, I, for me, controversy is good. I mean, there's always going to be a fifth-place team that, that is just left out. But in, in this case, Robert, is it, is it Ohio State? Uh, what team that didn't make the Final Four has the biggest beef, do you think? Uh, I don't know that they have a beef. Ohio State may have – I think that they have the most impressive victory. Uh, by what they were able to do against a pretty good Michigan team and the way that they just dominated them. But you look at the rest of the resume and you look at the way that they played against Michigan State, against the backup, and I don't know that they have a beef. I think that uh, you, you would certainly think that they would, you know, they would be in an 18 playoff and they would have a pretty good shot. But uh, the way that the system is now, you have to play the games that are on your schedule and you have to, and you have to imp and, and be impressive in doing so.
Robert heard uh, Paul Feinbaum say this week, I think, that if Saban wins a national championship, he sees him leaving Alabama, maybe going to, uh, if he can win another national championship, maybe doing something other than coaching Alabama. Do you agree with that? And if so, where do you think Saban's going? Is it back to the NFL, I guess? Maybe the Colts? Um, I could see him going back to the NFL. Uh, I think that, that it, it kind of it, it, it frustrates him that he that he didn't have the run that he wanted to have. And, you know, a lot of that has to do with the situation that he was in down there at Miami. So I could definitely see him leaving. You know, a lot of this comes down to factors that we don't always take into account. You know, it, it, his wife, Terry, he talks about her a lot and how happy she is down there and not wanting to start over. So I think that that has as much to do with it as anything. But I, I think he could certainly see after winning another championship that he's accomplished enough there and could move on. Well, I'll tell you what, he told me when I was, uh, actually, I was filling into this show with Danny Cadell over the summer, and he told me that uh, his wife decided to leave Miami. It was not his decision. She made that decision. So if she wants to leave, she'll leave, and if she wants to stay, then he'll stay. <laughs> and, 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 Robert, that, as you know, my man, that is marriage. Oh, absolutely. Happy wife, happy wife. I mean, how many times do we stay? And I bet that's why I'm living in Houston right now and not Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who wins the Heisman, Rob? Ooh, I think Derrick Henry's going to get it. Um, you know, I, I think the case can be made for, for Christian McCaffrey and Deshaun Watson, both of those guys, and obviously they're, they're all finalists. I do have a vote, so I'm not really allowed to say. I'm definitely not allowed to say who I voted for, but I think Derrick Henry's going to win it. All right, man, we, uh, we appreciate the time, as always, and uh, hopefully we'll catch up soon, man. Good morning, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good rest of your afternoon. Okay, buddy. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. All right. The star of his own show, who's not here today, his name is Dan Levitard. He joins us next. This is the Dan Levitard Show on ESPN Radio. Wrangler Advanced Comfort Jeans. New styles and great fits. Try on a pair today. Wrangler. Real comfortable jeans. Hey, it's Flo, and this is my impression of an automatic boat naming machine. Name number one. Yeah, buoy. Spelled B-U-O-Y. Ha, ha, ha. Name number two. Peer pressure. Get it? P-I-E-R. See what I did there? Name number three. Great boat insurance from Progressive at a great price. Maybe a little bit long-winded, but nevertheless true. Progressive Boat Insurance. The coverage you need starting around just $8 a month. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. $8 monthly premium excludes fees and taxes and is not available in all states. B-dubs presents B-dubbing. Uh, all right. They're up by 21, but now's not the time to quit. Now's the time to buy a holiday gift card at Buffalo Wild Wings. They think they've beaten us, but yard by yard, we're going to purchase gift cards totaling $25 or more. And we will get a $5 blazing bonus for yourself. Who's with me? Yeah! Now let's go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. Found at participating locations in New York, Florida, Rhode Island, and Canada for a limited time while supplies last. Limit four terms and conditions apply. The biggest guests wake up with Mike and Mike. Kobe Bryant, what has this week been like for you? I wasn't sure what the reaction would be like. Kobe Bryant, I say, man, so far, it's just been amazing. The offseason's going to be whatever you want it to be. So for the rest of this season, does it change your approach to each game? Well, yeah, I'm absolutely hell bent on playing every single game. <laughs> <laughs> the farewell tour has begun, and congratulations, Kobe. We'll talk to you again soon. No, you got it, man. I appreciate you. Mike and Mike on ESPN Radio and ESPN2. Guys, wouldn't your wife or girlfriend love it if you treated her to the very best this Christmas? Well, you can, and you don't even have to go out of your way. We're talking about the world's softest pajamas, available exclusively at pajamagram.com. That's pajamagram.com. Created by a team of dedicated pajama experts, the world's softest pajamas are lighter than a cloud, softer than a bunny, like cashmere, only better. Talk about dreamy. She'll love the way the world's softest pajamas feel. You'll love the way they caress every curve. More than a gift, they're a feeling, an invitation to linger a little longer. The world's softest pajamas are available only at pajamagram.com. Visit today and give her a gift that keeps on giving to both of you. You don't even have to wrap. Every Pajamagram includes free gift packaging. Christmas delivery guaranteed. Call 1-800-GIVE-PJs or click the banner to visit pajamagram.com. 
We're here outside of Metro PCS store, and it's amazing. Once people hear of the deal Metro PCS has to offer, they all say, I'm moving to Metro. I'm moving to Metro. I'm moving to Metro. And the reasons they're moving are many. I'm moving for a free 4G LTE smartphone from Samsung. I'm moving for the unlimited data, text, and talk for $30, period. I'm moving for the fast T-Mobile network. I'm here to move for all of that. <laughs> Make your move to Metro PCS right now, and you can get a free 4G LTE smartphone. Sales tax not included. Not just anyone, but a fantastic smartphone from great brands like Samsung and LG. Now that's what I'm talking about. A free 4G LTE smartphone, unlimited data, talk, and text for $30, period, on the fast nationwide T-Mobile network. That's Metro PCS, and that's why I'm moving to Metro. Hurry in. This offer only lasts for a limited time, only at Metro PCS. $30 plan includes first one gigabyte of data and up to LTE speeds. Phone price after instant rebate. One offer excludes numbers on the T-Mobile network. Coverage and service is not available everywhere. See store at MetroPCS.com for details and terms and conditions. Mike and Mike. Good morning. We are back in better than ever. Tomorrow morning at 6 Eastern on ESPN Radio and ESPN2. Only Wendy's makes a deal feel like a meal. Introducing the new 4 for 4. 4 bucks for the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger with freshly cooked Applewood smoked bacon, 4 all white meat nuggets, and natural cut sea salt fries and drink. That's right, just 4 bucks for a Junior Bacon Cheeseburger, nuggets, fries, and a drink. That's one beefy, cheesy, sizzling, crispy, icy deal. Get more. Get 4 for 4. Now at Wendy's. Offer includes small fries and drink. Have participating Wendy's for limited time. Prices may vary. Often not valid in Alaska and Hawaii. ESPN Radio College Football Update. I've tried to consistently convey as the chair over the last few years, I don't believe it's the committee's job to send messages. We don't talk about sending messages to conferences or teams. We feel like that's up to them to decide that and that, you know, the rankings in themselves will send the messages. College football leaves here. ESPN Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike and Mike. I want to put another wild card in and leave the division winner out of the playoffs entirely. Yeah. Now, come on! I want the best teams in! Let's go screw the league up! The NFL starts every morning with Mike and Mike. If I were on the sideline and I see Des Bryant start yelling again, I just would kind of roll my eyes and go about my business. If your dream in life is to somehow try and land Urban Meyer or some like super high profile Not guy, happening. but if you're telling him, oh, and your quarterback is going to be Johnny Manziel, see ya. forget it. People come around and watch him catch all these balls. He's got one over his head. It's a hard catch. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta catch that ball, young man. You gotta dive out and catch that ball. CC, let's ask you the unanswerable question. Oh, Who wins the NFC East? Eagles. Based on what I said. schedule or do you think you're the best team? Based on you just freaking asked me. And I had yeah. to come up with an answer. Ah! E! They're flying! They're flying! Here we go! We flying! The NFL starts every morning with Mike and Mike. Weekdays at 6 Eastern on ESPN Radio and ESPN2. Hey, this is Matthew Barry. The Wednesday Fantasy Focus Football Podcast with me and Field Gates is now available on the ESPN app and on iTunes. The Levitard. Ladies and gentlemen, Stu Gotts, policing your joy. Act like you've been there. Been where? Stu Gotts. You are the worst. Yeah. This is the Dan Levatar Show on the SPM Radio. Greg Cody is going to the bucket of death during the television exclusive. We're arguing here during the break because he chose, as his humiliation after his team lost, sleeping in his own garage. He did so with a great deal of confidence because he intends on cheating. Right. So once again, that bucket of death is going to cost me money because I'm going to have to get a security guard to sit outside. <laughs> no, that ain't happening. Yeah, that is happening. Oh. You don't get to decide. It's your garage. It's our bucket oh. of death. I have a neighborhood rule. Uh, no security He's going to cheat. Well, how do we prevent him from cheating? Well, definitely Greg is right because the security guard will go to Greg's security gate and Greg has the option of letting that security guard in to his development or not. He does. He has no, he option. doesn't. He, yes, doesn't he does. live in a security cul-de-sac. We don't pay him that well around here, and newspapers <laughs> don't pay like that anymore. He does not have any so security. Used to, what you're no, he doesn't have any such thing. We're going to have to keep it. We're going to have to figure out a way to monitor this because he will cheat while being the guy who keeps people out of the Hall of Fame for steroids. He will cheat. 
<laughs> on this. Um, I couldn't believe. I walk in and Stu Gatz is doing the show, and I've been told from several sources that Cody and Stu Gatz held it down very well yeah. today. Um, but I couldn't believe the first thing I heard when I came in, which is Stu Gatz asking Robert Smith who's going to win the Heisman when during a commercial break yeah. yesterday, Stu Gatz spit at me. There's not an award anywhere in the world I care about less than the Heisman Trophy. Ran out of questions, Dan. <laughs> you just ran out of questions? Yep, I had nothing left. I had a minute to kill. I knew Cody I had nothing, so I right. went to the Heisman Trophy. Well, I was going to come yeah. in with who's going to win the national championship. <laughs> there is an interesting thing going on in college sports where David Shaw and some others are saying they eventually see an 18 playoff. There's that whole pesky thing of ESPN having a seven billion dollar rights contract for 2026 for four teams. <laughs> we all want to see an 18 playoff, right? right? Yeah, we just discussed it. Like for me, the best team I saw this year for me was Ohio State. They're not. They don't have a chance to play for the national championship. It seems, which seems ridiculous. Same with Notre Dame and Stanford and a couple other. Things. Yeah, eight would be good. I think eight would be. Would, but how do you get around what I just said? That the, the rights contract, because right. television dictates all this stuff. And there's a there's another problem. The idea of giving it more games to unpaid labor, if you care about that stuff, and most of you don't. Well, can't you take away two regular season games or a regular season game or something like Again, that? Again, though, you're getting down a path where you've signed rights deals through 2026, right. and the thing that governs this whole thing is that $7 billion. This is a made-for-TV ESPN event, and we happen to call it a championship, even though, as you said, Ohio State's not playing in it, and they've got as much right as Oklahoma, which has one loss, and you know, Alabama, which has one loss. But I guess I'm saying for eight teams, keep the amount of games they play the same. Just one game means more than, wouldn't you rather have, like, Florida play an Elite Eight game as opposed to playing some no-name school to start the season off? Uh, sure. But there's all uh, money. You've got to follow all of it with right. the money because the no-name school makes its money by allowing its bodies to be sure. trampled right. so that Florida can, you know... Allowing it, its bodies. I mean, that's what it is. It's college sports equivalent of prostitution, using the bodies of lesser schools and paying them for it. That's what it is. How much do they get? It's like a half million. Like a Georgia Southern when they play Florida, I think it's like a half million dollars. So their oh, yeah. kids can just get run over. That's what they're there for. Yeah. Um, speaking of the damage that sport does to the body, I feel like Stugatz is kind of the zookeeper, and he sends me in on the howler monkeys, go lick the canal, and is like, go take care of them. And they're in there throwing feces because I'm attacking their identity and their sport. Ah, and I come out, and I'm covered in feces. So can you get canal or go lick on the show uh, tomorrow or the next couple of days so that I can talk about this nonsense? Canel goes out there and says there's a war on football. When there is no war on football, the New York Times has written some stories. That's not a war on football. And if that is a war, it's between the New York Times, a remora fish, and a great white shark. It's not a war that the New York Times can win if you believe it's a war. <laughs> the war is on brain injuries. Yes. And the scientist who wrote for the New York Times, the guy who is the subject of the concussion movie. Uh, Well-timed uh, op-ed piece, by the way, just in time to promote his movie. Tell yeah, the truth. Yeah. Ben and Omaldo. I know, but that's that's kids he's worried about. Well, that's what I've been saying. Like, with all the noise and the yelling back and forth, really what he's writing about is should kids be playing? It's not about adults. Should kids be playing football? Not just football, any sport in which there is a possibility of head drama. But the thing is, though, when you guys are talking about a war on football, I haven't heard a single voice. Am I wrong about this? I have not heard one single voice anywhere in the media or even elsewhere saying football should be abolished. Have you? I haven't heard that. Nope. It's just about kids and the development of the brain and brain injuries with young people. But the point is, if you cut off the youth feeder system, then you eventually kill the sport. The way that our military has been killed by not allowing people in until they're 18 years old? Yeah, but Dan, but this is a specific skill set. You have schools giving scholarships to who they think is the best the free, The player. free minor league that is that is funded by the exploitation of the inner cities, that one? No, but then you have to acknowledge that part of it. If kids aren't starting to play football, which I'm totally fine, if, if the science shows that they should be playing hurts football, football. I the know. way football hurts kids. Dan, if they don't start playing until they're eight, between the ages of 18 hurts. and 25, the, uh, that's fine. The NFL is done if that's it, the case. It hurts football. It doesn't kill football. It hurts football. And 
it's a legitimate conversation to have. It's not a war on football. It's a protection of the brains of young people. It's not unreasonable when the science tells you. The science. Not hand in the dirt, go like, not hand in the dirt canal, protecting their beloved sport and uh, protecting their beloved identity. The science tells you that the development of the brain at that age is important. It's not a war on football. It's protecting our kids. And when you throw out those stats of, hey, it's not that many deaths, tell that to the parents of the 11 high school kids. Because you don't think that way when it's your child. And many, yeah, man, you can throw all those stats out there. You can say sharks are dangerous. More people get struck by lightning than attacked by sharks. Okay, throw your kid in a pool of sharks and tell me there's a, and that the sharks like injuring him a little bit better and more than most. And see how that one goes. Right. I mean, Danny Cadell was, was using skateboarding as his example, that more people die skateboarding, more kids that's fine. die you can skateboarding. Throw, that's fine, but this is part of the fabric of the, that, that's not an inherent, that's not an inherent part of the fabric of the sport. Not to mention, we're going out to the extreme the extremes of death. We're not talking about damage. We're talking about, we're going out way to the extreme of kids in a coffin. Right. We're not talking about, we don't know what kind of damage this is doing. That's part of the issue that the science we're sitting there. Did I just suck the fun out of everything you guys were doing today? A little bit. Did I just do that? I did? Yeah, pretty much. A little bit. A little bit. Pretty much? Yep. Okay. So what, what were you guys talking about? Who is going to win the Heisman? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't remember. I like this McCaffrey. Segment, this segment seems so long that I don't remember what we were doing last cycle. Oh, yeah. Shaq's a liar. That's what we did. Shaq's a liar. He lied to uh, Mike and Mike this morning. He said Kobe's the greatest Laker ever. Liar. You agree. He lied there, right? He's not a liar. He just lied this morning. Come on, a minute, dude. I know you hate calling people a liar. Just say he lied. Just... Come on, we got like 12 seconds. Say. Just call Shaq a liar? No, just say he lied this morning. Right? Say it. Say it. Say it. Come on. Come on. Put the fun back in the show. It's fun. Yeah. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Shaq lied this yeah! morning. Yeah! 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 This is your game. The NBA is on ESPN Radio. The gift that keeps on giving is almost always just a metaphor. Open it once, gift over. But at TGI Fridays, we have the gift that actually does keep on giving. For just 10 bucks, get any endless app, like one of eight flavors of boneless wings, and we'll keep them coming over and over again. For a bit more, you can switch to another app. Loaded potato skins? Sure. Pan-seared pot stickers? Fine. You can even try them all. We don't care. We're just excited about giving and giving and then giving some more. Endless apps with endless choice are back at TGI Fridays. At participating restaurants for a limited time. While supplies last, other restrictions apply. We've all been following College Game Day, and you know that the Chevy Silverado has been dependably getting the Game Day crew to Game Day each week this season, which is no surprise since Silverado is legendary for being dependable and long-lasting. High-strength steel construction, impressive efficiency, horsepower, and towing. No wonder Silverado 1500 was named highest-ranked large light-duty pickup in initial quality by J.D. Power in 2015. Visit Chevy.com to learn more. For J.D. Power award information, go to JDPower.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. Geico presents Strange Saving Stories. Astronomers detected an interstellar transmission. It stated, Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. The implications were staggering. Was the cosmos telling us we could all save hundreds on car insurance with Geico? Or did their radar merely pick up a signal from the nearby Rufus and Clyde's morning show? We may never know. Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Guys, when you buy your clothes at DXL, you look good. But you feel like a rock star. So you want to look and feel like a... You'll find all the brands you love, waist size 38 and up, all in one awesome store. DXL, you're looking good. Shop now for deals from 30 to 50% off. See DestinationXL.com for details. Two gods here for 1-800-Flowers. Love telling you about 1-800-Flowers. It is December. That means it's Dan's birthday. That means I need to get him his favorite gift. And what's his favorite gift? Of course, 
flowers from 1-800-Flowers.com, the only way I send flowers. They are the best. I love them. And 1-800-Flowers is giving our listeners a great limited-time offer. Order a beautiful, full bouquet of 18 red and white peppermint roses plus a vase for just $29.99. That's an awesome deal. The perfect gift to send this season. You know what? It is the holiday season. Show someone in your life how much they mean to you, how much you care about them. The only way to do it is to go to 1-800-Flowers and get this incredible offer. Again, a full bouquet of 18 red and white peppermint roses plus a vase for just $29.99, and you'll save $20, but only when you use Dan's name to order. It's a great deal. It's only available for a limited time while supplies last. Go to 1-800-Flowers.com, click on the radio microphone in the upper right-hand corner, and enter Dan. That's 1-800-Flowers.com. Enter Dan. What's better than all punk and everything? Everything you need on GoPhone from AT&T. It gives you unlimited talk, text, and data usage with the first 1.5 gigabytes at high speed. Plus, it's only 40 bucks a month after a $5 auto refill discount. AT&T, mobilizing the world. First payment is $45. $5 discount applied to monthly rate plan charge upon enrollment and auto refill after first 1.5 gigabytes. Get data speeds up to 128 kilobytes per second. Additional charges and restrictions apply. See store for details. <laughs> Are you tired of commuting to a job that makes someone else rich? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare with your children being raised by someone else? With our free information, you can lead a less stressful life, come work from home, and start earning money as soon as next week. I was about to be laid off from a company that was going bankrupt. On top of that, I wanted my kids to have mommy care, not daycare. My first month, I made $1,000 part-time. After 90 days, I was home with my children, and for the past seven years, I've been here for my three little girls. I love this business. Go to freedom105.com, get out of the rat race, and start earning great money as soon as next week. I was skeptical. However, I had to get out of corporate America. Both me and my wife were able to quit our jobs and now make over $10,000 a month from home. Go to freedom105.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 105.com. Freedom105.com and start earning great money as soon as next week. ESPN Radio Sports Center. I'm Christine Lisi at this hour. Plenty of questions about the Eagles' running back situation today for Coach Chip Kelly on a conference call with reporters. Kelly clarified running back DeMarco Murray's meeting with owner Jeffrey Glory. Kelly said it wasn't an orchestrated meeting. Glory just happened to be sitting next to Murray on the plane ride home. And they talked. Kelly also said they're encouraged by what running back Ryan Matthews has been able to do this week. He's missed the last three games with a concussion. He is uncertain against the Bills on Sunday. Today is a big day for Broncos quarterback Peyton Manning and his return from an injured foot. He's throwing outside for the first time since his forgettable four interception performance last month against the Chiefs. It's unknown what Peyton will return for AFC West in Denver. NBA Warriors guard Clay Thompson's sprained left ankle told ESPN's Mark Stein he hopes to be able to play Friday night at Boston or Saturday night in Milwaukee. X-rays were negative. He was hurt last night. Cavaliers expect to have Kyrie Irving and Iman Shumpert back in the lineup by Christmas Day. If not sooner, Irving's been sidelined recovering from knee surgery. Shumpert out because of an injured wrist. Want an easy way to see if you could save money on car insurance? Geico gives you three. Call 1-800-947-AUTO. Go online to geico.com or stop by the Geico office nearest you. Three ways you could save 15% or more. <laughs> Take us through his last 24 hours after yesterday's concussion topic. Uh, we'll get to that in about 15 minutes because I feel like we kind of have to wrap that up a little bit. It was an interesting day for your boy. Yep, a little bit interesting. I slept well last night, though. You did? Yeah. Okay, I, I noticed you were very active yesterday, um, engaging with people, doing some interview requests in the front page of USA Today, uh, which is pretty impressive. So uh, we'll get to all that a little bit later. We also had uh, Colangelo on Mike and Mike this morning talking about the Sixers. Michael Wilbon is going to join us. He said Christian McCaffrey is Stanford's his Heisman vote, but he doesn't think McCaffrey will win the award because he's a white running back. Todd McShay is going to be in studio. Just taking a look at some of the matchup stuff there with the top four teams in the playoff. That's actually going to be really good 
DeAndre Jordan a little bit later, Darren Woodson, so a lot of guest legs as well. But we start with Golden State because last night was another one of those games where look, I was asked numerous times, give me Golden State's first loss. I'm like, all right, uh, Toronto, day game, sort of, not really five Eastern. They bought kind of a weird start. A lot of people thought the Pacers continuing this seven-game road trip. They win 131-123. They're up basically 30, almost, you know, gave away the lead here in the fourth quarter. But, I, you know, I mean, we can just say that they're awesome. I don't know what you have left. Yeah, I mean, Sarudi made a point before the show. He's like, is it almost the point where it's boring? Because you just expect, oh, them, no. you expect them to oh, win. That's not what I said. No. You what didn't did you say, say that? What did you say? I didn't say they were boring. I said, you said it's getting I said it's boring. At the end of the year, if they're just going to run away with this thing, it might be bad for the league. I thought you used the word boring. Now, think, of, think if you're the Pacers, because I watched the whole game last night, right? So the Pacers come out, and they actually are having a pretty good first quarter. They're hitting shots. They hit 42% of the threes last night. They hit a ton of free throws. They were 21 to 26. Got to the line 26 times. The Warriors only got there 15 times. The Warriors went on a 20-something run in the first quarter of 44-28. They had 79 at the half. The Pacers actually weren't even that bad. And right. they got down like 28. Right, Paul George had 33. Their best player went had a pretty good game by anybody's standards. It's good to see Monte Ellis show up. Yeah, right. You know, he's a guy who didn't want to play with Steph when Steph was drafted. He was like, can't play together, don't want to play with him. People are thinking maybe Ellis is going to want to go back. And Ellis was terrible down the stretch. This team, to me, though, they're not, I don't think they're ever going to let the pressure get to them, right? You would think at some point, starting to break records, you know, whether it's the, the streak to start the season or it's consecutive game streak, whatever it is, that maybe they might tighten up and have a letdown. A lot of people pointed to that road trip that you mentioned, back-to-backs. What is it going to be? I just don't see what is going to bring this team down. Mentally, they have fun. We've talked about this a lot. I don't think anybody has as much fun as they do on the court. And, yeah, you can point it toward winning because it's always more fun when you're winning. But they really do. I think they just enjoy the game. They enjoy playing with each other. And they just have fun. And I think it really works for them. Shout-out to his and I saw them ask this question earlier. Huh. Say, should we just stop? picking the game they're going to lose. Here's the, you get one. And once you've done your one, and I did mine on Saturday, I'm out. It was Saruti with Pacers. Like, you don't get another one. Because, you know, eventually, you know, they'll, they'll lose. Like, we get that part of it. They're going to lose a game. But you can't, yeah, you got the, the sixth guess. Like, okay, let me, let me go through this one more time. You're right about the confidence thing. When do I get one? Are you? Are, he hasn't already used it. No, no. He, I'm, I'm giving that one to Raptors to Suri. I'm gonna take. The, I'm gonna take the Cavs on Christmas Day. He already used it. Hey, you I, took I, the Raptors. So but you took that too. No, you I took, took the Pacers. Who took you the both Raptors? Took the Raptors. I, you can't both have the Raptors. I'll give him the Raptors because right, you would have Cavs. never claimed that you got it right had been accurate on Saturday. You would never have done that. I'll take the Cavs Christmas Day. All right, here's Steph after the win. We were ready. We were. We knew this was gonna be a tough task, but for us, um, it's about how we play. Not turning the ball over, playing good defense, and sharing the ball. That's uh, that's what our, you know, our entire success is predicated on. So we got to that early in the first half, open the game up, um, set up nothing. You know what it looks like? Because I was saying about you think they get up tight. It's almost like the other teams get up tight, and they change what they're doing. But and it just. If they have this mental mind trick on another team. Like, everybody now is gearing up to beat them, and I think it's changing the way they play. And the, and but the Warriors just keep doing what they're doing. Right, but the difference of that is, though, that you're also, if you're Golden State, like, teams are going. It's actually, I think it's worse when teams are losing to the Sixers throughout that stretch. They blew all those double-digit leads because you're going, we don't want to be the first team that actually the Sixers get a win on. Right. So all of that's combined. But the mental part of this, I think, is the most impressive thing because – when you think about D'Antoni with the Phoenix Suns, of all the philosophies they had and Nash made it go, it was if you're open, shoot it. And there's nothing, I don't care what level, you don't have to be a pro player, you don't have to be in the NBA. If you were a high school basketball player and you knew if you missed a shot that your coach didn't want you to take another one, it's the best feeling ever. Now, if you take a shot and you're in high school and you miss it and you think you have one of those old school coaches that are the worst to play for, it's just going to yank you every time you make a mistake. You can't play basketball that way. It's, it's too free-flowing of a game. So... Phoenix used to do that, and guess what? Everybody's percentages went up because they never were worried about it. And even more so now with Golden State, and it's a better group of personnel. Curry comes back in after about to blow that lead. And yeah, they want to go as many as they can here. And you're up this huge number, and it looks like the Pacers could chip back away at this. The crowd's getting into it again. And Curry comes in, throws a ridiculous dribble on a guy, and misses about a 27-footer for the right side. It was a crazy shot to even attempt. 
he missed it. But seeing that, I'm going, you know what? Good. That that just shows you, look, we're not freaked out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe everybody kill us for blowing this big lead. We don't care. Yes, yeah. we're better. The game, the, the game that resonates with me was, I think it was the Clippers. It was definitely the Clippers game. I'm not sure if it was the first one or the second, the home or away. But they were trailing late in the game, and they did the coach interview. And Luke Walton comes over there, and he's like, you know what? He's like, this is fun. Look around. These guys want in the situation. Even though they were down, they liked the challenge, and they lived up to it. Of course, they came back and won the game. But I really feel this team has embraced the attitude. I think it was the second one in her. Was it, um I think it might have been at home for that, but they were trailing. The first were, one was at home. Yeah, they were down by 10, I think, pretty late in the game at one point. And you're thinking, oh, this could be the night. But they didn't care. They really don't. They don't. They're not. They just, they don't care. It's Priscilla with Canelo, TSPN Radio, TSPN News. Now, the byproduct of this is, okay, well, I think college football, as much as you and I both love it, the way we talk about it, which is so unlike any other sport, it's completely infected the way we talk about all sports. So you have guys actually doing this. Who have they played? You know who they play? The West 20, 23 teams, and they're smashing right, it. Okay? Right. Their point differential is the greatest in NBA history so far. Spurs fans, you want some of this? You actually don't. And your team's really good. I hope they get to play the Spurs. Because I'm so tired of hearing from Spurs fans that, oh, just Kawhi would magically just shut all this stuff down. Guess what? Chris Paul took you guys out in the first round last year. So as much as you respect the Spurs, love them, and I'm not saying it's impossible, but you're not you're not beating this version of Golden State. A lot can change. A lot can change with injuries. Who knows? They've been really healthy the last couple of years. But don't do the like. Don't turn Golden State into Iowa the first quarter of the NBA season. Why didn't you give Iowa the same love though? Because Iowa had to just come off winning a national championship. <laughs> that is true. That's okay. a fair point. Yep. What about the West is down? <laughs> okay. Like okay, but but it's so over the top, right? Amazing. And you know now because it's so popular, just to rave about them all the time, which you should be doing. Yeah. You're gonna start hearing more guys who yeah. are doing what we do in the opinion business, and the NBA players in the nineties been doing it long enough. But it is so impressive. There is no well, wait until the Spurs or who have they played. You can't do that. You'll start to hear guys come up with some you gotta reasons why. You gotta beat them up a little bit. Yeah. You know, Rough hard fouls. <laughs> If you could hand check stuff. Like, do you realize what would Steph do in the nineties? He'd get hard fight and then he just miss or he'd go, you know what, I don't want to play, coach. It's too rough out there. Yeah. I'm having a hard time dribbling around Vinny Johnson. Can you can I check out of the game? It's too rough, man. Too rough. I'm out. Put Barbosa in. I'm scared. Okay. Um we have a 24 hours later recap of what it's like to be Danny Canal because you uh, you got beat up pretty good, and us right wingers we stick up for each other, right? Right. Yep. <laughs> I love. Like, what have we done? A thousand segments of the show so far, almost four months in. Like, it's just it's like Fox News. I'm done. Yeah. Like we've done three segments, maybe total. Out of a thousand. Uh, and then yesterday was about concussion. So, day two of Danny making big headlines. Do that next. Priscilla and Canal, ESPN Radio. Thousands of people seeking home security get ripped off every day. Salesmen try to scare you into signing long term contracts. You get stuck with.